Hello there, everyone. Thank you so much for watching the Daisy podcast. I want to thank all of our Patreon and YouTube supporters for all of their support. It is really much appreciated. I want to thank Malinar, Ken Brown, Tank Dazza, Shane Murphy, Big Dog, Florida AF, and Eric Johnson for our Patreon supporters. Much, much appreciated and much love to you all. And I also want to give a special thank you to our YouTube members, Jake Azira Cool, OG Bricktop, T Dog, Stud Muffin, Hannah Epps, Zenith777, You My Size, Andrew Boyd, Michael. Darkwing Tate, Daisy Hub, Marson P2, Matt Z, Raymond Normoyle, King Alabar, and Kenny Baker. You are all absolutely fantastic. You are absolute legends. Thank you so much for for providing for the show and supporting us in all of our episodes. We really do appreciate it, and we can't wait to see you on the next show, the Daisy Podcast. Hello, everyone. We're finally live, despite our best intentions. Uh, we're live for episode 115 of the Daisy podcast. I'm joined again by my good friends, Dump Gra and Project Lemons. How are you guys doing today? I'm not tired for once, so yes. I can say for sure that's already better than last week. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is definitely positive. What about yourself, Dump? How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Good, good stuff. I'm really glad to hear that. I really, really am. It's been a, it's been a bit, a bit of a long week, I guess you could say, but it's been an interesting week. Quite a few things have been has uh, has happened. Project Lemons has kept me in the know about stuff. Just want to say uh, before we uh, kick off, Matt Z, I want to thank you very much for the five pounds. Really, really do appreciate it. Much love, my dude. Much love to you. But yeah, so what have you guys been up to this week? What what what's been cracker lacking? What have you been doing? A lot of work, a lot nice. of sleep, good. and a lot of trying to get a good sleep schedule so I don't end up like last week on the the, the podcast again. <laughs> oh, mate. I, I, did, I told you. I, I told you. You should have just gotten yourself to bed, mate. You should have just got yourself to bed. It was, I couldn't miss the experience. No, that's fair. Couldn't that's, miss the experience, yeah. That's fair. <laughs> no, it was really awesome having um, the greedy peasant on last week. It was really, really fun to talk to. Kind of enlightened as like myself a lot about the console side which was really really awesome so i'm really hoping that you know i'm really hoping people enjoyed it <laughs> uh we, we we thought we had issues with the previous episode episode 13 uk is dry as hell right now i'm trying to strain on the swearing you the uk is like bad <laughs> but it's fine it's just a drought in hose pipe bands and pain but it's fine um <laughs> but uh what was i gonna say oh yes no i've lost it no yes we had issues with ladders dry yes um well i'm british we do have dry humor but you know it is what it is but uh you, you threw us off again chat threw us off again <laughs> But, um, yeah, so we thought we had issues with episode 114. We tried something new. It kind of worked. It kind of didn't. But we'll be going back to the regular um, the regular way that we do things um, next Thursday. So uh, do give us your th feedback for episode 114. Let us know what you think. Um, you know, we got it out last night. Um, it seems to be doing pretty well. Um, but, yeah, so just thought I'd address that very quickly just in case anybody brings it up. That is... Or, um, title of the video. No, you'll have to refresh that. But yes, so. Okay. <laughs> Ad admit, Dump looks badass in that Adidas sweater. To be fair, you kind of look <laughs> like a Chad. <laughs> you look good, dude, to be fair. Unlike Lemons, Thanks. he will never know what he looks like. When is it happening? It's, it's the. I'll just I'm one, midway through one stream. You'll never know. I'm, it's just gonna happen. The oh, the anticipation will always be there. Nope, the anticipation is gone. I just don't care anymore. <laughs> True, <laughs> but yeah, you'll never you'll never see it coming. One of these episodes, just it just out of nowhere. You'll switch you'll your webcam on, and we'll be all like, oh okay. <laughs> yep. Oh, yep. it's him! <laughs> right, okay, continuing on. That's what it'll be like. That's what it'll end up being like, totally. 
<laughs> or, or you'll switch your webcam on, and the reason why you've been delaying is because you bought a lemon mask from China. <laughs> And that's what you've been waiting for. No one you. Oh <laughs> yeah, Daisy Hubs, right? Yep, I'm Dean Hall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are Dean. <laughs> Jesus <you> know? Christ. <laughs> I never left the Daisy community. I just want. I just changed my uh, my alias. You know. <laughs> oh yes, totally, totally. Yes. New voice, new alias, new bloody everything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. Eh, hey, Lord. But yes, it's been. Um, it's been a fair... <laughs> okay, he's gone now. But yes, yeah, so it's been a fairly interesting week. There's been quite a few things that um, that has been going on. Um, I think, I don't know. I haven't really had much of a chance to check this week. No, I have, to be fair. Um, but I'm just quickly getting up the agenda on my phone. You know what it is? I really need a third monitor. <laughs> I really need a third monitor so desperately. But yes, yeah, so... One thing that I know we've talked about in the show in the past fair few weeks, um, you know, it's, it's something that we haven't really been able to ignore, like not like we want to, is the VoIP issues that um, Xbox players have been having. Uh, Mark's done a video, I think what was a couple of days ago, explaining it, and then he took the video down and he got proper information from the devs and he re-uploaded it. Um, now, I haven't had a good chance to check the video out completely, but from what I have gathered, essentially what we said, you know, in, in terms of it was kind of Microsoft's, uh, Microsoft's thing, you know, they've told them to do this kind of thing, and it's pretty much that. Mark's done an absolutely fantastic video on it, um, and I will leave that video in the chat. It gets to the point where even the Daisy... Uh, Twitter handle retweeted his video. You know, I'm pretty sure they've gotten like countless, and I mean countless, of like people saying fix VoIP, and it's like it's not even oh, something they can fix. Thousands. I mean, Absolutely. there was even a petition that was made too. So I I know that. Yes, I, <laughs> yeah. I recall. I think yeah. You want to see Dump Gra in his chainmail? Actually, that is a you know you know what you should do, Dump. You know what you should do. If Daisy, like, if it comes out with more knight-related stuff, like the sword, the mace, and stuff, you should actually just wear the chainmail for a stream. You'd be dead, I, like, I you'd will... be so, it'd be so heavy, like, but... I was about to say that, like, my chainmail is a full-length dress chainmail, so I doubled it up to the thing when I used to wear it for my meal reenactments. It weighs <laughs> 85 pounds. That's fine. If I, if I don my entire outfit, which is the gambesons, the leathers, the chain mail, then the plate with some wool in between, it weighs a total of like 136 pounds. Oh, that's that's fine. That's no problem at all. And, and I used to run miles in this, fighting and drinking and stuff like that. Yeah, no, that, yeah, again, that's pro that's perfectly fine. Do it again. There's, you, just, you've just done it once. Apart, you know? Yeah, you've done it once, you can do it again, clearly. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> but, <sure>. yes, <laughs> but yes, but yes, going back on track. <laughs> going back on track. Uh, Mark's did, it was actually a relatively short video. Um, it messes you in the game. A few people yes. have been saying that um, Xbox of and yeah, the video was really cool. Um, and one of the coolest things about it was he literally starts off with the video going, I actually got contacted by the devs after I made my first video. I took it down. They gave me a lot of information. Apparently, I had some mm -hmm. misinformation or wrong information. And immediately lets everyone know the reason why his old video is gone is because he had misinformation and he wished to correct mm -hmm. it based off what the devs told him. Which, honestly, props to him. He didn't Absolutely. even have to say that, but he did, which is awesome. Well, that's the thing. That's that, That's one thing that I feel like content creators, if they do make a mistake or they've gotten wrong information, they're, they're not very, his, like, they're quite hesitant to, to reveal the information. But Mark, he's always a good lad. He's always like, you know, if I, if you messed up with something like that, he, he'll more than happy to say that. And it worked out really yeah. well in his benefit. I, I, I feel like the, the video went down pretty well. And, you know, hopefully that information becomes a lot more widespread so people stop yeah. hounding the Twitter handle like fix VoIP and it's like look it's we technically can't. it's <laughs> not broken like there's nothing yeah. to fix there if, if you want to hound anybody hound Microsoft but they'll definitely not listen to you 
Like, they get millions of tweets per day, more than likely, telling them all sorts of horrible Poor shit. Poor PR team. Poor PR yeah. team. <laughs> How dare I mean, you not listen? <laughs> It yeah. could be fun. I could print out the entire petition and go slap it on their doorstep. They, they're literally right around the corner. Yeah, go for it. Why not? <laughs> you know what? You should. I, you, for a day, you should do that. <laughs> I'll take one to Microsoft Toronto too. Don't worry, I got you. There you go. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah. So, uh, going along the video, um, he explained pretty much um, the, the processes and, and on why that change was made. Um, do it while dressed in the chainmail. <laughs> um, but he, yeah, so he went into into detail about why um, why it is what it is, and it turns out, obviously, um, it was previously, if I recall correctly, it was a bug. Um, it was like a, a glitch or something unintended in the past, which has now since been fixed. Um, in fact, there is an entire thing here um, that Mark's linked in uh, in the in the description of the video. It was about adding metadata to screenshots, video clips, broadcast voice, chat diagnostics, all that kind of stuff. So one thing um, here, which I uh, feel is quite interesting, is voice chat, which is obviously something that I want to focus on. Voice chat should be considered user-generated content which can contain personally identical information or other potentially sensitive data. Because of this, a user's rendered voice in game chat should never be included in any recorded clips or game captures. This can be done by assigning the proper audio category to the render stream containing the user's voice, that of audio category underscore game chat. This tags the stream accordingly so that the system knows to ignore this audio stream when capturing for game DRVR. D I, game DVR clips. Now, bear in mind this only does apply if you use Xboxes like game DVR. Um, which, as far as I'm aware, don't. <laughs> apparently, I've, from what I've heard, I've, obviously I can't really say much about it, but apparently it's not that good anyway. So the best way to get around it is, I believe you, you said yourself, Lemons, in the past, it was just to get a game capture card. Is that right? Yeah, just just get like a Chief Algado or something. And if you, I mean, I think the big issue too is a lot of the people on console just don't have a PC to run mm. a capture card too, you know. But I, for those who do. Even a cheap laptop or like, you can use any crappy laptop for that kind of stuff. Just run, run an Elgato to it, have it go through like OBS or something. You can record mm -hmm. your videos through there, your any of that kind of stuff, and you get all your all your voice chat back. Yeah. So. And that's it. And that's all you have to do. But from what I have been reading, well, that's that's the thing, Daisy Hub. So, from what I've read, PlayStation actually has a different system where you can opt in and out of that. So if you are recorded, you do have the option beforehand if you want your voice in to be included in kind of like their equivalent of game DVR. Now, I'm struggling to comprehend why Microsoft, as big as they are, you know, some a company that's really advocating for, you know, cross-platform, for content creation, stuff like that, why they've not included that? Why have they not changed their TOS and all their systems to include that? For PS, I'm, it's only in parties that it applies to, though. And see, it's like, it doesn't make any sense. I am curious, and maybe someone in chat can answer this. Mm -hmm. Does PCs, Xbox Live, and Game Pass and stuff, because I know you can play all that stuff on there, does it have the same limitations? I have does no it idea. Care? I because, like, have no idea. why would the console care and not the PC? Because as far as I know, PC... It doesn't care if you record people's conversations when you're playing Halo or no, it doesn't. Infinite or whatever else. So like, oh, interesting why response would for that. Have that. It doesn't with the in-house or it doesn't it doesn't with external recorders, but if you use the in-house Microsoft game DVR with Windows 10 or 11, it won't do the game cat or it won't do the game audio as well. Hmm. And that's on PC. Yeah. So is this just a way to possibly alleviate them of all and any liability? Like, it's like, hey, if you definitely. guys want to go about oh, our system, definitely. <laughs> we can't stop you. But, like, you know, we don't want to get sued because some, you know, eight-year-old found out about something they shouldn't have. It's, in the legality standpoint, it does make sense to do it like that. But 
this is one of those cases where the legality has completely destroyed the practicality. <laughs> it's yeah. just ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and you know, when, because when they changed it. Because now there's more issues coming out of it too, you know. Well, that's it. There's just been so many goddamn issues. And, you know, every single tweet you see now um, from the Daisy uh, Twitter, it is just fix VoIP, fix VoIP. And I did actually see somebody say, uh, add black and green plate carriers, which I thought was funny, but it's it was, it's always, a that's thing. always, a <laughs> but they, um, it's just, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Now, there was something, Sorry. no, no, go on. There was something important that Marx did say in the video and it was near the end. So maybe some people may have missed it. He did say that BI is still trying to work with Microsoft to eventually figure out a solution. Mm -hmm. Now, whether the solution is fully in favor of what it used to be, who knows? But he did state that BI and Microsoft are still in communication about this issue. Yeah. Um, I was told the other day by somebody that apparently Call of Duty uh, doesn't have this issue with the DVR. Which doesn't, it's so strange. It really doesn't make any sense. Like, so I wonder why... if it's some hoops they have to jump through to actually finalize it and stuff. I mean, perhaps, maybe. That's I think the modding too, though, because as we saw, there are some games that do have modding in it, but the the broad majority is you can't mod on third, like you can't have third party modding on console games. But we still see it with stuff like Minecraft, or you know, yeah, which is still a multiplayer title. Well, Minecraft title. isn't modding; it's just reskins. Mm. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, my point was is that people should at least hold their breath because it might come back. It might. It's like a Maybe ten percent chance. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, see, we'll, see, we'll see. That's the thing, you know. You know, BI recognizes that the issue that is going on right now is is indeed that it is a massive issue, and they know they can't just sit back and just let it happen. Um, and it's good that they are talking to Microsoft to get that sorted out. It's really, really good. Um. <laughs> But, uh, but, but Daisy Hope says maybe Bohemia would have to take responsibility for anything that happens. See, that's the thing. It's, it's just, it's one of those things. Um, it's, it's a really weird, yeah, sure. really weird system. I don't know. I don't, I, I, I wish I understood it all, but it's, yeah. when it, when it comes to the end of it, you know, they're, they're trying to get it addressed. They're trying to get that, you know, changed. So issues people are facing, um, will be fixed. And maybe that'll set the precedent. For and now we are reconnected. Okay, for some reason the stream went down. Are we good? Are we good? Yep, we're back. We're, right, we're okay. good, we're good, we're good. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> More technical issues. I'm trying to be zen here. <laughs> yeah, what I was going to say, though, too, is what we have to remember is on PC we have OBS and we have stuff that we can just capture yes, with in-house and we have so many options with Xbox. You're shoehorned into using their in-house program. You have to use their DVR or you have to use the Twitch app. And I'll be honest with you, anyone who's in chat who's ever like streamed or made content, like anything like that for Xbox, knows how much a pain in the ass or how much of a pain in the ass it is to use the Twitch app. It's horrible. Mm -hmm. It is it is so, so bad. <laughs> oh yes. I can imagine. And they haven't changed it since they added it, I think about what, like five years ago? <laughs> and they haven't they haven't changed it at all. There's been no updates to it. <laughs> well, uh, why am I not surprised? Um, the client side player, uh, viewer, whatever app for PC, uh, they announced, I think it was like almost half a year now ago, they, they no longer support it. They don't care about it. Well, it's that's done. it. It's, yep. It sucks. It really sucks, but uh, it is what it OBS is. OBS on Xbox One? Question mark? <laughs> Actually, that, that that reminds me, I found it so funny that, you know, Sony and Discord of like, you know, they're really close together, but Microsoft got Discord first. Like, native integration, it's quite funny. But anyway, <laughs> just thought I'd put that put that back in. Um, but yeah, sorry about the disconnection, guys. I'm not too sure exactly what is what happened there to, to make that mess up. But glad you're all still here. Uh, DOJ, Slump, thank you very much for, uh, for coming in. Darkwing, thank you very much for coming in as well. Really do appreciate it. Um, we haven't, you haven't missed much um, at all. We're just talking about the VoIP issues and, you know, talked about Mark's made a video. 
Um, but glad to see that you're all here. Some familiar faces in here, which is always freaking nice. It's always really good. Um, no Twitch? No. <laughs> Sod Twitch at this point. Heck, I'm even considering like cancelling my affiliate on Twitch and just streaming to my YouTube channel. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> Mark spreading fake news. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> but, um... But going away from that kind of aspect, um... So let's let's see let's see what skill set first. Streaming from Xbox to Twitch is easy. Just download the app, link your accounts, tick a title, and start broadcasting. No PC required. This chat issue needs fixing, though. Absolutely, which is what we were just talking about there. Um, you know, yes, sure, it's absolutely simple to do it though. But it, the cost of you know the situation with Void where something really funny could happen or anything like that. Yeah, is it really worth it when you're playing the game based on interaction? I don't think so. But that's just me. Um, but yeah, just 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 go go to PC. Just move to PC. Sorry, why not? <laughs> What'll stop you? Just buy a two hundred pound PC HP Pavilion from like eBay. You'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> but um, but yeah. So one thing that uh, lemons you you kind of showed me a little bit. I think it was either last night or the night before. I think pretty pretty sure it was a couple of nights ago. Um. You've restarted, or well, resumed um, development on Zagoria. Yeah, it's it's been a while. I mean, for anyone that follows my work, I kind of dropped off every every social media or like <laughs> for a good month, month and a half, and I was never, I never really went public about why, or mm. I, I never really explained why until I mean, I, I guess until last time I streamed, but it was just. I really had bad burnout, you know, and I think <laughs> a lot of people, you know, regardless of what they're doing, if they're just like making content or just anything in the Daisy community can agree, burnout can yes. be, burnout's pretty shitty. Absolutely. And it can really, Before it can really take a toll on you. Everybody here in this chat has faced burnout quite a lot. I know Dump that you have yeah. as well. I certainly bloody have. But yeah, it's, it sucks, but it's, it's good that you get yourself in that drive, you know, you, you can't, you get that spark back to um, 100% and to it's re to resume, it's, yeah. it's fun to do that too because I really I really wanted to keep going with it and I had literally a lot of files like tons of files just sitting on my drive that were either unfinished or finished and I just never pushed them out fully mm -hmm. and I just I don't know for the long I was just I, I kept looking at the stuff and I just I don't know it was, it was um I kind of I think I just lost motivation you know I think that was the biggest thing and there was a lot of people that kept rooting for me, and I think through that, I just, I, ha I had to finish the stuff, you know, I, I wanted to finish the stuff because a lot of people wanted to see that, so mm -hmm. I came back, and I came back, I hit the ground running, you know, and I'm already, I've already got an update, every, well, a pretty big update slated for early this week, mm -hmm. so. Yes, yes, you, you've, um, you've posted... Um, you've posted some things about it, and let's see if I can pull it up, because I'm not too sure if you actually... Yes, yeah, so I'll pull up the pictures that you post on Twitter, because you kind of showed me them like an early concept side. But yeah. from what I saw from the pictures, mate... Mm. God, it was so <laughs> nice. Really, really nice. And you gotta this... add Dry Dog to the base game. DOJ, oh, if you're still yeah. watching, give us a Dry Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it in the middle of Livonia, why not? <laughs> yep. Um, yes, I got the pictures here. I'll tell you what, though, that was a lot of fun to work on. It was very impromptu, and that was actually... I did that... Um, I just stayed up one night, like a, a few a few days ago. I was talking about that. And I just said I want to make this, and then I just I pulled like an all nighter, and I just I just like chipped away at it, you know. <laughs> yeah. And nice. I was so happy with the end result because I've I don't even know how I got into the like I don't even know how I thought about it. I think I was just I was playing at one point, and it just popped in my head, and I was like, dry dock, you know, that'd be so cool. Or so, like I was thinking dry dock or um. 
so they have like the shipbuilding docks, and I thought adding one of those in would be such a cool thing because you can do some really interesting stuff with that. And it adds in something that you wouldn't really see normally with Daisy because Daisy, Daisy doesn't have a lot of marina type stuff or mm -hmm. e even stuff like oil, oil rigs and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. But adding in interesting mechanics like that can be really, really cool. And I think that it was such a, such a fun thing to put that together. And I'm even going to be setting up some lore to tie in with that as well. So Nice. <laughs> Not yet. <'cause... laughs> no. Right. Sorry, it's slightly deviated, but I've been playing quite a lot of Namask lately with a couple of people, and I'll have my fan on, but it can be loud when I'm pressing the buttons. So one, <laughs> I was messing around with it, and all all they could hear was something like this. It was like. I'm not even, uh, you know, Lance bomb is food. He has a microwave, you know. <laughs> I, I totally agree. Wait, I'm hungry. Yeah, it's a goddamn microwave. I'm hungry, boy. I need myself a microwave beans. But yes, it's just my fan, so you know, not not no microwave, no no whatever, <laughs> or faxes. Um, but yeah, sorry about that. I'm trying to trying to mitigate noise to that. But see, yeah. So going back to this, um, to the dry dock, you yeah, because you showed me, um, and Rath, yes, you can come in, mate. More than happy for you to come in if that's all right with you two. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. Good stuff. Good stuff. Well, Mostly doesn't say red nine. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I put it on the logo. He has every, he has every right. He's, I put it on the thumbnail. It's, it's perfectly fine. But yeah, because you, you were showing me a little bit about the dry dock, like when you were, when you were kind of like making a little bit of concept and whatnot, and you know, we talked about it, and it was a really cool, interesting idea. And it, it is best to kind of have like some law behind it. Channel's kind of like the yeah. best place for the dry dock. But I contemplated, mm -hmm. and I think, um. Yeah, I was talking to DOJ and we are both thinking of like, you know, what was the best kind of like place, like the more industrial place. And we both said, yeah, it's easily Cherno. I mean, no problem at all. So yeah. having a ship like this with actual parts where it is in the process of getting repaired, you've even got the, um, which I really liked. You've even got like the metal bars going across with the, with the, with the massive yeah. hole and in like the, the ship. Yeah, the sheets and stuff, the sheet yeah, metal and stuff, it was, yeah. Yeah. It was a really, really nice touch. It was really, really awesome. Hello, Rath. Hey, Hello. Hello. That was the big thing I wanted to do as well. And also, hi, Rath. <laughs> but <laughs> release when date when? The... Yeah. Oh, release date when? Yeah. Soon. Soon. Oh, I'll because... also release the Red Knight oh. with it too. Don't worry. <laughs> Lemons, how uh, frustrated did you get trying to put those pieces of the ship together? Because. I know that ship comes it comes in multiple parts. So. Yes, I hated it. It was horrible, and even even with Daisy, I don't know if you've ever tried to do like precise things with the editor, but shit just never lines up. It's quite painful, <laughs> absolutely. I typically use like also, depending like, on the rotation. Yeah. Yeah, and oh my god, that was even worse too. Because I had I had pre I had prefabbed the base of the dry dock because I I wanted to make like a really detailed one and then move it to the water. Mm -hmm. Because I, I like to, usually when I'm making like any prefab builds or stuff like that, I'll just go to Northwest because it's a flat ground, giant flat area. I'll just go there to start building stuff. I, I mean, I built the walls for Chernobyl there too. Yes. Um, but I made it. And then I realized that in, um, in the editor, when, you ha when you're moving a ton of assets, even if you have like, like good, good stats or a good uh, specs to your computer, it will tank it. Mm -hmm. It will totally kill it. My my poor thirty seventy Ti cried that night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why, Daddy? Heart. Why? <laughs> but I had to move it because it was at Northwest, and I couldn't. I couldn't just. I or wait, no, I, I did. I did. Um, I copied and pasted it because I I didn't want to drag it all that way. So I copied it from Northwest. I dropped it at um, Cherno. Right. And to rotate that, that was the worst experience ever. Having to rotate that. Because every time I tried to rotate to line it up with the dock or like how what it was already like, it did not go well. Did my it? game would just it would turn into a slideshow, and then I yeah. wouldn't know because it's frozen where it would end up being. So I'd have to just drag it a certain amount and just try and anticipate. Oh well, if I drag it to there, that should make it straight. And I had to do should. that for ten minutes. Ten minutes, <laughs> and I wanted to cry. Oh, I bless wanted you to mate. cry. <laughs> bless you, mate. But, yeah, because I it mean, was a lot of fun I... making that though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was I was gonna say X, yeah, but you know, 
doing a lot of different things in the in the editor using like you know the alt and arrow keys is really precise but yeah <laughs> i like that deal jay just said 10 minutes that's cute yeah all right we we'll get it <laughs> uh. <laughs> i hear my cpu cry on pain yeah it does sound really <sighs> yes oh, yeah. not pleasant oh it's it's not a good time but you know, you know what, lad? In, mm -hmm. in typical, in typical fashion of me, I may have a playable demo to show off real quick. Also, lad, I just want to let you know that uh, on the stream, you're both frozen at the moment. We're both frozen. Not for me. Oh wait, are right, wait on the stream? Yeah, on YouTube. Right. Like okay. your pro. Oh, oh, you've di you've disappeared. Yeah, we disappeared, lad. <laughs> that's the screen messes up. There we go. There you go. There you right. go. Now it's working. Hey, we're we're back in business. You know what we're, it is. We're all good. Yeah. Ever since, and I'm gonna go on a slight rant here before we go on to Zagora. I just need to, str I need to stress how stressed I am. Okay. <laughs> Ever you since. You need me making a short. <laughs> Oh, God. Where's the second? <laughs> where's the reply short to my reply to your reply? <laughs> no, I've I've um, I switched on my PC. All my audio was completely screwed up, so I had to get everything all sorted out there. And then uh, OBS couldn't do it because the NVENC encoder was broken. So then I did my graphics card drivers, which then broke everything else. Like my half of my desktop is gone. <laughs> The stream got cut off, and now and now OBS is like, yeah, we're going to delay you for a minute. It's like, fuck, fuck this shit. Yeah, yes, it was DOJ. Hmm. <laughs> if you play Daisy, then you're always stressed. You know what? You're not wrong. <laughs> Boomer moments for lad. You know what? If I get a compilation of that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cry. <laughs> Here's a compilation of all your best moments, lad, since you took over the show. It's just Boomer moments. <laughs> Suffering, pain, yes. pain and suffering. Just, just yeah. pure, just. No. Red boomer. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yes, you got a playable teaser. You got a playable demo. Show I it do, off, my dude. I'm just, Show I'm it just off. getting it set up right now, but we've got quite the uh, quite the thing in store. Mm. I just have to make something real quick. For some reason, hardware anti-aliasing always defaults to extreme or like high on my PC and it just dies. I don't know yes. why. I think it's because I used uh, reshade, but it just it folds. <laughs> it, it makes everything like look dark. It's the weirdest just, thing. Just crumples, yeah. It, honestly. But yeah, I'm just getting it uh, just getting it finalized right now. Mm -hmm. But and, and have you I'm not too sure if we discuss this more or not, but have you thought about um setting up one for PC yet. Yep. It's happening. Traitor. <laughs> I have to I have to finish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have to, I have to finish with the um I have to figure out some performance issues because I realized that the way that um objects get rendered on PC versus how they get rendered on Xbox are very different because they do mm -hmm. they did have to make some um compromises on console. But Makes what sense. that did is actually boost the performance of Zagoria far far more than what it gets on pc mm -hmm. like on, on um on xbox it does not drop below like 60 70 fps and then but on that's pc impressive. i've seen frame drops to like 40 40 or 50 so and that's not so and impressive. that's like i said 30 30 70 <laughs> ti and a 5800 x 3d and it's dropped into like 40 50 fps so i need to i need to look into it more and i want i i'm not sure if there's like anything anyone who knows PC servers, I'm not sure if there's anything mm. I could do to mess with how objects get rendered in or mm -hmm. like object render distance or anything like that, but yeah, I mean, are you guys familiar with any of that stuff or kind of? Yes. Um, obviously, with Day me. obviously with DayZ <laughs> with it being console, they have to optimize that part of the engine quite a bit more. So it actually performs better. Uh, they might not have to do the same optimizations for PC, but I mean, no idea, but while you're getting that up, there's a, Quite an interesting um, question I want to answer from Sean White. Do you think the devs don't really care that much about official because the money side of it comes from community servers? No. Um, the main 
process, the main core of developments is obviously for official. Um, they don't take an account for community servers unless it's a modding bug fix. Like you'll, you know, you'll see in the um, in the patch notes where be like there'll be some issues that's reported through a ticket, um, or there'll be a modding feature <clears throat> that will introduce or fix based on the ticket. Everything they do is purely for official. The money that they get is from their sales that they do typically every single update. Um, they don't, as far as I'm aware. They don't make money from community unless they no. get, unless somebody, if I remember rightly, they get like a server that is partnered with uh, BI, like Natrado or something like that, especially on like the console side. That is it. Yeah. Um, but it, it does pose a very interesting question. I'm glad you asked that because that is, uh, I quite like that question. Because um, people have that conception that oh, the devs don't care, but in actuality, they, they really do. <laughs> really, If they didn't oh, care. Yeah. They wouldn't be developing the game, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you're, you're totally right though, because like mm -hmm. they do care about their official servers. Because you got to remember, community servers change the game so much, even on console, that that doesn't really represent truly what Daisy is mm -hmm. in the developer's eye. Mm -hmm. And when you sell a game, you want to make sure what the person gets stock is what they what mm -hmm. you want to give them. So if they relied wholly on community servers to bring in people to buy the game and didn't care about their official servers at all, which, mind you, I know official isn't that great on hardware, mm -hmm. but they do care because, again, like Vlad said, the updates do bring people in, but the core game has to function well without people mm -hmm. fixing it for them. My, mind you, I will say, and obviously we we can't ignore the fact that official servers, you know, they as much as they do develop for official, it is not perfect. There are some massive glaring issues that yeah. we obviously need to acknowledge. We can't just be like, oh, yeah, you know, official's perfect, play official, because we'd all play it. No, no. Um, official has a shit show of stuff. They have, unfortunately, some hackers. They have yeah. desync issues and mm -hmm. a lot of other issues that we can talk about, but we're not because, you know, we don't want to throw that much shade. But nothing's <laughs> perfect. Well, see, you say that, I don't know. But, <laughs> but I do actually want to... I, I know it's not on the agenda, but it is something I do actually want to briefly talk about once we've shown off once the lens has shown off Zagoria here in the new update so we are watching now my guy all right is it coming through good uh, i can Enough? see it i can see that everything right. is shiny and glowing yes yep all right yep. can't hear anything though but i'm pretty sure that's that's all right don't really need to hear anything yeah, that's, that's that. you don't need to you don't need to hear hear the boat no <laughs> Before anybody enough, asks, this is actually based so, off of one in Japan. Right. Okay. And before Parts anybody asks me about moving the mouse in the center of the screen, it's not my mouse. It's Lemon. So. <laughs> oh, is, it, is my mouse in the center of the screen? I can't it see is. That. Yeah. That's it's funny. it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll get used to it. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. On a small note, guys, I do mm -hmm. have a new video being made at the moment. Wait, what? <laughs> I have a video being made. Okay. <laughs> Do tell. Hey, yo. <laughs> well, it's, it's nothing. It's not a reaction of the reaction of the reaction of another reaction. It's, it's, it's a straight up legit video. Okay. F fab. Uh, I can give you a quick, quick little rundown of it while Lemons gets himself situated. I mean, we're watching it right now, absolutely. But yeah, I mean, once we've, once he's finished, oh my god, the frame rate. That's that's reshade. Don't it's it's reshade that shade. I'm I'm streaming on the uh, desktop version too, so or like the like the Chrome, like the web browser. So. What have I told you about using that piece of crap? Yeah. <laughs> my man's. <laughs> Yeah. You naughty boy. But it's well, so easy to use. Right, well, well what, what we can see from this PowerPoint presentation, I just want to say that it does actually look really nice. There's a, there's a really good amount of, like, detail that you've put into it. I can definitely see that, you know, there's been quite some stuff. And, of course, you've got your parkour stuff, naturally. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't forget about those vaults, and that's a big thing. Oh, wait, hold on. 
<laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Let me just... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so you can make those from both sides, and that's a big thing on Zagoria. I have these... All these mm -hmm. poles are kind of like... I, I took the inspiration off of um, Dying, Light Dying Light, because in their second game, everything that can be parkoured on or can be vaulted onto has like a yellow spray paint on it, or it has like yellow rags on it and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I, I use these... I always use the survey marker poles to show that's a parkour area. Even if I go down to like... Um, if I go down to, if I can actually fall and die, come on, game, kill me. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you. Yep. All right. I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> but even if we're over here, you can see that um, this has a little pull on it too. Yes. It, it just shows that it gives the player a bit of guidance and it shows them into it. And even uh, on this side as well, you've got that same pull. And it's uh -huh. a, it's a small thing. And I think I learned it from some developer. I, it was called, I think, Lurt's Law or something, but it's it's to help the player and guide them into an environment. Yeah, it's because it's it's kind of it's kind of set up in a way so it's not like holding your hand, but it is like an awareness of it. It's, I think I think nice visual cue. Mm, Valve yeah. Valve has used a similar process with Left 4 Dead, where. I believe yeah, with like the spray paint on the walls and stuff. The spray paint, yeah. the lights and whatnot to kind of like point you in the right direction, which is a very subtle way. You don't exactly realize you're doing it. Um, yeah. But it's, it's really, really you know, good. You don't so. want to. You, you know you're doing a good job working on an environment if you're making something that they don't even like realize. If you're able to guide them through something and have them not know that they're being guided, that's the mm -hmm. best. That's, the, that's literally the best that you could do. Like, <laughs> so... It looks really awesome, dude. It looks really, really nice. Very cool, man. Very cool. So you said that's coming within... I'll show you the within... uh, Cherno part two, but my computer by fold with the yes. current graphic settings. Probably, probably. <laughs> let's let's wait for players to get their hands on that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Plus, another thing too I realize as well, it's pretty dirty, is players can actually prone under this. And just imagine the peaks you can get, because you can do a full rotation. You can, just you can imagine go if somebody... Thing. Set up a claymore. It's down here with an AK, you know. No claymore, <laughs> dude. Claymore. Oh, even a, oh wow, that'd be that'd be insane. <laughs> that is pretty dope. That is really really awesome. Just gets cr crushed by like how many tons of this boat even be? Like. <laughs> oh, oof, yeah. yeah. No, thank you. Too good, but. <laughs> no, but that's, that's really what happened awesome. when. One month later, and it's definitely Zagori is still being worked on. Definitely, I can tell you that. <laughs> that is awesome, dude. That is awesome. I, Keep I haven't it up. quit yet. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. Look, really looking forward to it. Really looking forward to hit the PC. Absolutely. Oh, 100%. Can't wait for hitting the performance on PC. <laughs> Literally. Pray for your computer. <laughs> <laughs> now, Rath, you want to tell us a little bit about what you got going, you got going on here? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, 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 so Lost my word. Nice, anyway. interesting. Uh, Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, me and my buddy Chuckles, we uh, we pulled an epic move okay. the other day. Uh, we're at our base, and you know, same old, same old. Chuckle gets shot in the face, nice. or gets shot at within seconds of logging in, and we're checking out little heat maps, and we notice that there's a little spot somewhere close by to us. So we drive over there, and we're sitting there for about an hour. Nice, you know. As you as you usually do in Daisy when you're trying to hunt somebody, um, we see a truck coming down from the hilltop and we watch it and we watch it, and I snipe. I managed to kill the driver and nice. Chuckles managed to knock out the other dude and I take him out. We steal. We Chuckles steals the truck, drives it off, and apparently they had a grenade launcher in the back. Ooh. So. Take that, put it in our car, and drive off. Chuckles glitches out, crashes into a parked car, and almost kills us. And we make it back to base. Daisy fashion. <laughs> nice. That is that is actually really good. Damn, that's really awesome, dude. Uh, have you got a video link at all? I have the vod up and. Right. Before I before I even say anything, it's a four hour video, but I have someone editing it down to like a six minute video at the right. moment. Okay, no problem at all. Well, when the video I mean, is uploaded, um, definitely put it in the media channel, and I'll be 
showcasing it off when it is ready. I mean, I can give you a little snippet, give you a timestamp if you want to look at it later, you know. Hell yeah, dude. Absolutely. Absolutely. And a guy called Ghoul Z is going to be doing the editing for it. Abs- uh, you know what? Good choice. Actually, good choice. Oh, th- thank you, Matt Zeke, for the um, gifted, the gifted membership. Daisy Hub was gifted by membership by Matt Z. Absolutely blessed, mate. Thank Very you nice. so much for that. Absolutely so much for that. Actually, that's something I, I want to... He's on a gifting spree. <laughs> He's on a gifting spree. <laughs> so, something that we want to f- focus on... Oh, you got gifted a membership, Dom. <laughs> Hell yeah, boy. <laughs> so, wouldn't like to push it too often. You can also put it in the uh, chat for this voice chat. Um... You just right click, you just have your mouse over stage. There's an open chat box and the one will pop up on the right hand side. You can put it there. But I shall open it up regardless for you, Mila. Let's see if we can get this up. And what's the timestamp? It's 128. Uh, one hour, 28, 49 seconds to oh, fast forwarding, fast forwarding. Dun, 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 dun. I think they're stopping. Uh, one thirty, one forty, yeah, they they got out. one thirty-two. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm watching it right now. Hit, killed one. Nice. That was a solid shot. One still alive, Chuck. He's taking cover. Yeah, in the bushes. I see his feet. Get his toes. Get him in his toes and loses. Zonko. Oh, nice. Got him. He's dead. He's dead. Oh. Nice. 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 <laughs> Wait for it. Don't do anything. Wait for get, it. Get. Get messed up. Oh, that was fucking perfect. <laughs> get messed up. There's so much more I want to say, but I'm trying to be. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be nice with the language. <laughs> but that was absolutely awesome. I'm going to post the vod. Um, in chat so if anybody else is interested in watching the entire thing that they can but looking forward to having the video up there so Raf sounds like a voice actor yeah he, he sounds kind of like Raf <laughs> but um he's a voice actor he's a voice actor yes indeed he's twirling his beard like this he's a devilish boy but anyway can't, can't be yeah, it's no red nine. Oh. <laughs> There's pain and suffering. <laughs> but so <clears throat> obviously on the comments of what we're talking about um just before with official DayZ servers. Um I can't remember which tweet it was, but and we've kind of made this point in the show. Um Archie made the the suggestion when it came to um, cheaters on official. <clears throat> and this will be something for Daisy and Battlelight to to, to do. Um, is the implementation of a direct report button on the, you know, when you pause the game. Um, because the, the way that the process is, is that if there is an issue that you have, like if you get killed by a cheater, a hacker, or whatever right now, on on official servers. So then you have to go onto the Battle Eye website and you have to make a report there. You can't do it in the feedback tracker. Uh, you can't do it through any other process. It has to be through Battle Eye's website, which is a bit shit. Um, you, and you also have to have very specific details and very specific time servers, all that kind of stuff. And it's a massive clot on. Abs- it's a, to me, it's a massive clot on. So... I was just wanting to resurface and to kind of talk about more publicly the idea that Daisy should um, have a system. But that's the thing. A a report button would be abused, but it's not excusable. Like, just because something might be be abused a lot doesn't mean that it shouldn't be implemented. Um, Because I think if it does get implemented, if they do decide to do something like that, then it would actually help quite a lot. Um, 
it was worth it, Mickey. I, I remember. I remember that very, very well. Um, we used to monitor that kind of stuff all the time when I was there, and it was, it was, it was good to catch that one, that one person. But um, just something I wanted to quickly address. Um, well, that's it. So I don't know what will what we as a community can do to kind of voice that suggestion. Um, maybe talk about it more in a public way like like actual like properly and not just like demanding it or like cursing them out and be like add a report button there's got to be benefits there's got to be pros cons everything like that you've basically got to pitch it in a really good way and then you know maybe bi will actually um will actually listen be like we could actually sort something out because other games have it why not daisy but didn't want to talk about it much more it was just something that i wanted to quickly touch on um just something that I saw earlier this week so that's that because I know we don't typically talk about that kind of stuff on the show because I saw that but just wanted to let people it's have a, a skill issue it's that's a, all. It's a skill issue, <laughs> <laughs> it's a skill issue. I, could just see, I could just see Dump is done with my shit <laughs> I don't care <laughs> you know it's fine it's fine my, my, my head hurts uh, yeah yeah okay <laughs> No, are, are you okay? Is your head all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just suffering from a slight headache no. every now and then. Yeah, that's perfect. Fine. Have you drank plenty? Uh, yeah, I was just from listening to Wrath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, man. You can't give me that. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, all seriousness, I do have a headache. It was just easy to attack you. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nice. <laughs> nice. I get too much abuse from my fr- buddy Chuckles. I don't. I don't need it from here. <laughs> Randomly the, punches it, me in the face, throws flash things at me, shoots at Chuckles me. Chuckles message me. I want to talk to him. Maybe we can trade back and forth. Oh wait, yeah, I absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, clearly. Yeah. Um, nah. <laughs> Top bar man says or asks any thoughts on bringing back ambient music. Now I'm assuming you're talking about from the mod. From the original Daisy mod. Um, I mean, I, I, I think listen, music. I listened to I my own music. I think we had a comment from this track. person in our last video about it, and they had a link to their ambient music channel mm-hmm. of the old Daisy ambient music. Yeah. But as far as I'm concerned, if they did what he suggested in the video's comments of our last video, 114, mm-hmm. then as long as it was part of a music slider, I wouldn't care. I pretty much turn off all music in most video yeah. games unless a horror ga- a horror game anyway. Um, but more importantly, I want them to bring back all of the stuff that Lad was talking about last week. Um, last week, where it was the wind, it was the sounds, the creaks, mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. We have them in there. It's just it's missing something. I, I, I think Lad, you talked about that a bit more. But the yeah. music wouldn't be bad as long as we could control it. Absolutely, I think having. I know that Daisy actually does have an OST, um, which is quite funny. It's it's a lot of the music's from like the trailers and stuff like that. But going back to what you were just saying there, I'm referring to last week's episode. So all the sounds that you would that we did have in point six two is technically still there. Now the problem is is that the wind and a lot of people have said the same thing and they do, they have agreed is that the wind sound is too strong way way too strong and you're missing all the little sounds like the birds chirp in the woods you know like the the trees moving and stuff like that the leaves and whatever else like the actual like basic sounds and toning down the wind even just a quite like quite a bit brings back the richness of the nature and it's really awesome but now to to address the question Ambient music in Daisy, do I think it's a good idea? As long as it fits the tone and there's a lot of variety. If it's like a couple of tracks, I will instantly turn that shit off. I don't care. I will not listen to it. But... It's like your favorite song, the intro the intro song, you know? You, you love it. Well, let's just have that play all, <laughs> all, all during the game. <laughs> not gonna lie, I hated that song at first. I couldn't stand it, but it kind of grew, grew on us after a while. 
kind of it, it <laughs> really did actually grow on us. To be honest. I mean, that's that's fair. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but if they had variety and just not only the main menu music, but another like tracks in game, if they do decide to implement that in the future, I they mean, they need to use what they post on their Spotify. Like they have a full soundtrack there, and I, I have like most of them are from trailers, right? But like, they have a full soundtrack there of like actual long songs mm. that they could be using. They're just sitting there collecting dust, you know? Like... Yeah. But um. I think it should be restricted to an in-game headphones or iPod, so it's op to, optional to listen to that. That's, that's fair enough. That is, that is fair enough. But um, I would play one of my favourite tracks, but I don't want to get st struck by a copyright notice or anything like that, so I won't be playing anything at all. Um, but uh, yeah, you guys can listen to the tracks that the, the, uh, the, the BI released on YouTube or Spotify. Really, really awesome. Um, some of them got quite a grungy, grungy sound to them, and it's really awesome, really, really awesome. But yes, th I think they should bring back ambient music, as long as it's got variety, and it is obviously, you know, optional and stuff like that. But yeah. I would like to see ambient music for different parts of the map. Yeah. Kind of like Namalsk, yeah. Yeah, N Namalsk has actually yeah, like got it in a really... Music. Yeah, N Namalsk has got it in a really good way, because there are different tracks based on where you are. Um, but I'd imagine there would be a sync... Actually, no, it would only have to just play on client side. It wouldn't have to worry about server synchronization, really. Because it's just like exactly. kind of like optional thing, so... Wait, your song's two seconds behind mine? Duh, this, this game... Bro, this game... <laughs> oh, immersion sucks. broken! This game sucks, bro! <laughs> like, oh, is it dynamic music or did you guess check? <laughs> Oh, Plus, yes. it would never be fully synced either, because depending on where players are, you know, you might be in a different town as somebody else, and so it's never going to be timed up the same as somebody, you know. So yeah, that would just be uh, that would definitely just be a client side thing, but you gotta do it. I mean, Adam has no excuses. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I'm just quickly looking in our general chat, and somebody called Tate. Wonder who that is. <laughs> Just posted, posted this. Alrighty, gentlemen, I'm having to get ready for work. Y'all have a good time, lad. No red nine. Lemon release date when dump. You do whatever you hey, do. <laughs> <laughs> well, but thank you very much for coming in, chat. I really, really do appreciate it. Have a good day at work, and uh, much love to you, my guy. Yeah, you take it easy, buddy. Mm -hmm. I love that tit. Nice one. <laughs> hey, God. It's always nice having Wrath in. I really, really enjoy Wrath's company. He's, he's an awesome dude. Yeah. Uh, what were we talking about? I completely went completely off track of the agenda. Uh, I do apologize. Music. Can we talk about uh, the NBA music? Wrapping that up? Yeah. Yes. Wrap. <laughs> I like that. Yep. Yeah, right. We're done with that topic. Let's actually move on. <laughs> <laughs> nice well, opinion, I'm bro. We'll talk about the next one. <laughs> yes. It's just like, nice opinion, bro. Moving on. <laughs> no but. <Sorry>. Um, <laughs> so something that you brought to my attention again there. Um, so our guest last weekend, the Greedy Peasant, again, absolutely fantastic guy. You should definitely look and watch that episode. Follow him on all of the socials. Get involved in his community. Um, had a day dot media, uh, media? medieval event. Um, media event. I mean, technically, it was a media event, all things considered. It was but... a media event, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let's see here. So, we won't play, obviously, we won't play the full thing, because it's a two, two hour and a half VOD. Yeah. Um, so, can you tell us a little bit about what the event uh, was about? Sure, that was a very, oh, very fun event. You know, I haven't, I haven't been able to play... Like I said, I've been taking a hiatus from Daisy for a while, and I haven't played anything on console even even months months ago. I haven't touched like actual console console because I've just been doing like work for like actual development for it. But I oh man, it was so fun actually being able to play one of those events again. And this one specifically was such a fun concept mm -hmm. because what it was is it, it was one giant event, but it was split into like different mini games that we had planned throughout the night. So it started off we were doing um, I think it was a it was like a medieval costume contest and everyone was dressed. We had we had at least like 25 people, 20, 30 people there. 
and it was it was so fun. And we had there was like a medieval costume contest, and people were trying to set up different medieval type outfits. And there was um, after that there was like just a brawl, and everyone was locked into a farm, and it was like last man standing. <laughs> nice. And yep. And then after that, which are the clips that I have linked there, we had a few interesting like the the main events. We had um, a King of the Hill event where it was everybody all holds barge free for all no no alliances and you had to try and hold out corona castle for the longest time right and you had to be the per you had to be the last person there when the timer ended so that was pretty fun and then after that or sorry before that actually we had a kind of a capture the flag event okay it was called it was called um i think it was like torch holder or something like that but pretty much there were two teams one were at the farm near corona castle the other one was actually in corona castle the Corona Castle team, their job was to actually hold down the castle and protect the torch, which, which someone had to hold, and they were like the torch bearer. And the farm team had to raid the castle and try and get that torch and bring it back to the farm, which, is, which was like the spawn port for the event. Mm -hmm. And it was such a fun thing. I've got it linked in there. I've got one of the clips there, and it was it was amazing. It was really, really good. Yeah, let's see. We'll get some of the clips here. And then at the end, I I, I had a clip as well. We had a shoe battle. Everyone started beating the shit out of each other with sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we're just watching one of the the clips now. Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> oh, oh my God! What's he doing? It's just pure chaos. Ooh, all of that battle begins. Oh, another one down. Yeah, so this is the capture. This is the capture. The, or this is the this is the King of the Hill event. <laughs> <laughs> this was this was awesome. This was so so, now so fun. They've got they've got five minutes. Five minutes, and then I'll drop oh, these man. fireworks. And see, this <laughs> this goes to show that you can still orchestrate like pretty fun <laughs> events on console too. You can you can do pretty good oh. stuff still. Oh, uh, he just came in with the bloody pickaxe. He was not messing around. Dude, I'm watching you, Red. Yeah, I'm watching you. Oh, there he goes. He's down. <laughs> well, you can. <laughs> and there was yeah, because he sent a quite a few fast. different clips. Yeah. So I think this is the uh, this is the shoe yeah, battle. I'm pretty sure. Half an hour yeah, yeah, I'm it is. About... So this was at the um, end of the event, and pretty much what happened was, and we want every, at the end of every stream, Greedy hops onto like a random deathmatch server on console. Okay. But what we did is we did the deathmatch on this, and whoever oh, was the last done. person standing no got to pick no the deathmatch, like hey. the deathmatch server we were on. So. Right. Okay. It was very fun, and what's nice too is everyone actually plays by the rules, and they do a good job doing it. So there's no one that's ever trying to like troll or like fuck around or anything like that. Everyone yeah. actually listens, and they do it right, you know. And I, I you got you got to respect early. that, you know. It, just, it's it makes everything go yeah. way more smoothly, you know. It is it, yeah. It's really, really cool that that he has my, like yeah, he's pulled it off. Like it's <laughs> yes, yeah, there he goes. Get your shoe belt. Get your shoes off. It's like, it's like hurting cats, early. you know. It's yes. <laughs> it honestly is. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool. It's really, really awesome that you know he has. He is taking the time to, all right, to do all go, this. Gentlemen, the winner gets to take and decide where we go. Oh my god, he's already nope. bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you got if you if you scrub forward a bit, you can actually get into the real chaos. This is you got to see like we got to see us actually punching each other in the shoe fight. That was like, oh my oh, god, that was forward beige. That was yeah, quite the it. um quite the fight. Yeah. So this here is here this next one you're, you're on right now. Oh, you're switching back. It's a it's a bit, it's a bit delayed for me. <laughs> no, no, that's perfectly fine. I've but, I've gone back to the yeah. dark one, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that the um, with that one, if you want to skip a bit up forward, this right, was the one we were actually planning me. because um, we were defending Fish this head. time, so it was it was so fun. So we got nighttime, which was just it, we, it didn't really work out because we were gonna do we had this whole night strategy planned out, and then the sun rose. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, well, that, that, that's gone out the window. <laughs> yeah, that poor sun. But yeah, pretty much this is kind of like the planning phase, and both teams had a chance to plan and nice. when the defenders were ready we had a pair of fireworks that we we're supposed to set off right? right and i was watching smiley had a gun stream because she was one of the people on our team because that's the way yeah. i was communicating with her because i didn't have proper comps on xbox 
And I said to her, let me know when we're good to go because I have the fireworks here. And she said, right. And then her stream cut out. So I thought she meant, right, let's do it. So I set the fireworks off and everyone started fucking losing it because they were, they were like, they didn't even have the torch lit yet. <laughs> <laughs> everyone started going fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and they just start fucking storming the castle and stuff. <laughs> nice, well done. Uh, yeah. Uh, if it wasn't for that stream break, and you know, I, all I heard was right, and oh, the stream right. just cut out. Yeah. Uh, it just froze, and I was like, "All right, I'm going. It's it's happening." <laughs> this is what it is. <laughs> just deal with it. Yeah. Yep. No, but it was. We we actually lasted pretty long though. Cool. Surprisingly nice. enough. Very lasted nice. longer than the other right. team, even with the uh, uh, even with the conditions. This do you want to get dressed? All the weapons are in and stuff are in the tr That is absolutely awesome. I would definitely recommend, if anybody here that, that does play console, get yourself involved, get get yourself in in his events from the sounds of it. They're I'll really, send the link really to fun. Real quick, actually. Absolutely. It, cool yeah, every it. Thursday, every Thursday he does an event. It's something mm -hmm. new, and he's he works with the um, Daisy Custom Services team, to, and they're always making new maps, new services, mm -hmm. every, or new um, new servers every week. It's yes. always a new map, like right from fra like right from scratch. Mm -hmm. And they'll just, right after it's over, they'll, they don't even care. They'll wipe the slate clean and they'll start again. You know, yeah. you really gotta, you gotta commend that, you know? It's awesome. It's really awesome. And I, I love the attitude from it. It's really, really nice. Now, okay, so here's the link in chat. There we go. Good stuff. Thank you. That's Much the appreciated. Data server and it's, oh man, it's so, so, so fun. Mm -hmm. Now... Something else that you um, that you put down here in the agenda. Speculation of future weapons in 119. Now, this is leading to the DayZ stream that happened, um, I believe it was a couple of days ago. Are you able to yeah. elaborate a little bit, like both of you, because I assume the both of you watched all of it in its entirety. Mm-hmm. So pretty much what uh, had happened was they were the they were right. yeah they were speaking a bit they were they were actually they, first they were joking about Daisy and like they were t they were kind of taking pokes at each other but that was pretty funny mm -hmm. because um <laughs> the the programmer that was playing was kind of getting backseat gamed and it was really funny to watch I I, I did see <laughs> that and I you know I I was at work and people was talking about it in the chat and they were like oh this is you know cringe and whatnot and I was I was. I watched that part, you know, uh, where, where where he was he was teaching Vlad how to play the game, and I just thought it was so funny. I thought it was yeah. really <laughs> really funny. Like, even with the stuff with like the mag the mags and stuff, you, well you you can you know you can just hold R and it will do it automatically for you. You don't have to. Yeah. You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. it it was like I could understand what people f f would find it cringe, but I just thought it was really funny and wholesome in a in a way. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I felt so sorry for him though, because people probably he's like, "Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> Who did you bring on? Like, what? <laughs> what you? Um... <laughs> yeah, sure, you've done the push to talk stuff, but who the hell is this guy?" <laughs> the voice activation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, which honestly is a fantastic feature, but like, oh, <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. anyway, well, as you were yeah, saying. Yeah. So what had happened was a bit later on. They started talking about weapons, and they were talking about their QA team, and the programmer was actually saying that they, because they were talking about their own experience with it, and they said they really enjoyed working with the QA team, because it's not just the QA team that does it, it's actually the programming yeah. team as well that will hop in and do those as well. And they Makes said that, sense. They said they always, they always make the experiences fun, and they actually do it like it's a fun game test. It's not just some boring or drooling yeah. task of them having to test each weapon. They turn it into a fun game. But they did say they were testing some interesting stuff, mm -hmm. so... And, then, and I assume they didn't elaborate more on that. Nope. You you know how Daisy is. <laughs> they're not they're not gonna go any further than that. God damn it. Yeah, it's but it does time. open up to some really interesting speculation though. Mm -hmm. I'd love to hear what you guys think about that. Well do I need to say anything? <laughs> like <laughs> I made the thumbnail for this episode. I've already put down what I want. <laughs> yep, and, and what I want to. <laughs> so so you, you go first. I mean, you go first. What do you think? 
Well, they said interesting weapons, right? Mm -hmm. So I kind of wonder if we're going to get some new mechanics into the game. And I, I've been thinking about this, right? So, yeah, maybe crossbows and bows wouldn't be new, like, cool. But, uh, like, mechanic-wise, they are a lot newer and interesting, to be honest. The other thing I was thinking about is, what about throwing items doing damage? Hmm. Throwing knives, bricks, bottles, that kind of stuff. Because they have the uh, they have the uh, gas bot on the the you know the pox grenades and stuff. It. The pox grenade. What if they introduce Molotovs? What if they introduce throwing knives? What if they introduce other things that actually can be used by the player in a more dynamic fashion uh, fashion as a melee ranged weapon? I would like that. That would be super sick. Actually, not gonna lie. You find the bricks in like the industrial areas and maybe like in the in the in the in the A rubble cinder piles, block. cinder blocks and stuff like that. Oh, still Fro refresh his head. Throwing <laughs> knives would be I can already see it like, you know, content creators having a challenge where it's like how many kills can you get with a throwing knife? And stuff like oh, that. Oh, that's, that's already going to be a fresh spawns video. Second oh. update comes out. Easy, easy. <laughs> easy. No, yeah. no yeah. doubt about that. No doubt about that whatsoever. But yeah. I mean, Molotovs would be fantastic. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it it would it would be possible. I mean, as a modder, I could do it probably pretty quickly. I would just have to create a particle animation where it hits, and then create a damage zone on the spot it hits, mm -hmm. which isn't hard to do so yeah um and then a timer and then we delete both of those things when the timer ended but either way um it would be i was just trying to think of interesting things they could do that break the mold of more guns or mm -hmm. uh that kind of stuff because i mean i would say that the explosive update was actually interesting stuff Mm -hmm. uh it introduced uh craftable uh improvised explosives and a bunch of other things um would i say some of that stuff fit in it really well no mm -hmm. but it was very interesting yeah mm. i mean I, I i do think that melee weapons and throwable weapons definitely need some fleshing out so I, i'm actually i'm on board with that i think that would be a really cool thing for them to focus on like you said they've got the tech there so it would be the case of um of going through with that didn't Zedmag had a Molotov and Car Bomb mod? I'm not too sure. I'm not familiar with those two, so probably knowing him, probably could as could always ask him. <laughs> but um, it's obvious that they're going to be bringing in some legacy weapons again. I'm. It would be silly not to. Um, they've been doing really good with bringing legacy content back into the current AZ, which is great. And obviously some new things as well. Now, we all know that I want the Red Nine. Let's just get it out there. Yes, it'll be awesome to have. And it'll be really cool to have, especially with how if you put the stock on, they've actually got a system for it now where it could actually benefit the gun really well um what i kind of oh, hope just, just to fuck with you lad they'll release the blue 10 <laughs> that was gonna be the yellow way oh yeah that's true i prefer the lad nine at this point again <laughs> <laughs> but you found the mod you've posted in discord so let me just double check that on my phone. All oh, right, okay, yeah, that's fair enough. The purple too. <laughs> Lad nine, I took the DOJ. There we go. Yep, it's official now. He said yes. <laughs> oh okay. yeah, this is the one where you pretty much use a rag and stuff, and you can like shove it down the oh, car's gas tank and yes. it explodes. Yes. I remember this one. Mhm. Mm but um, I actually hope that they bring in something completely brand new um, maybe something with completely different animations um, that maybe some common weapons may use like modern day 
um, to allow modders to use those same kind of animations. Um, again, I would love the Red Knight to be introduced and maybe the MP shotgun with the, the pistol grip. I think that would be absolutely fantastic You already to see. know I want that <laughs> MP shotgun with the pistol yes, grip, you know? Yes, yes. And obviously, yeah. you know, cr crossbows and the, the, you know, the one people, you know, and bows, people want that. But dual-wielding revolver would be sweet. I just want Russian roulette back. Yeah. I want that oh, back. Oh, honestly. Honestly. But I wouldn't be surprised if they do implement, like, you know, the clips again. Red 9 would be a perfect addition for that. But, uh, I, again, I do hope that they bring in something completely new. You know, when they're talking about interesting weapons, maybe it is something completely brand new. But we won't you know like until... See, if I'm being totally honest with you, mm -hmm. I want them to revisit their non-lethals, like the, the, um, the stun gun... Yes, the, the stun baton, um, the blow dart taser, pistol. Yeah, because that blow dart pistol, like that specifically, was such a cool concept. Because you had like the air canister that would go into it. It was a separate thing, and you had the mm -hmm. like it was a multi-stage thing. It wasn't just you'd load a mag into it and it'd get to go. You'd actually have to find the um the, like the CO two canister. You'd have to put into it so you could get the pressure to shoot the dart. And I thought that was such a cool concept, and it, well, it's such so a shame that they didn't do it. Well, somebody remade it. Somebody remade it and uploaded it as a mod. And they got the functionality working correct, like properly, uh, apparently. So I mean, the the um, the desire is there. So yeah, I, I, it would be really nice if Daisy started going into more like um, the non-lethal direction, um, especially you not know, to have the communication and like the interactions. I think that'd be really awesome. What do you think, Dom? Yeah, I think. Uh... I think Daisy should lean more towards the non-lethal or more shock damage based weaponry. Mm -hmm. Mainly because one of the biggest draws of Daisy to most people that I hear is its interactions. And one of the biggest things I hear from even streamers is that it's too easy to die. Now people complain about it. I like the fact that pulling a trigger means you'll kill someone. But there are elements where you shoot someone in a freaking kneecap and well they die it's like oh well that kind of sucks yeah i was trying to take them hostage so having more ways to do it where people can subdue people and have interactions and other stuff yeah of course it could be abuse we control someone for hours but then again pushing escape and respawn while you're tied up works mm -hmm. but yeah i definitely agree uh having more ways to cause more interactions rather than shoot and die would be beneficial not only for daisy as a whole but the community itself may like it more yeah. because let's face it the shotgun rubber slugs and the the stun grenades both are incredibly lethal at close ranges and both suck <laughs> at any medium to long range yeah like have you ever tried someone doing so, so doing someone with the 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 rubber rounds from the shotgun it's almost nigh impossible the Nobody minute you pull your gun it, yeah. off your back to pop them, they pop you first and you're just you're down. You're just and if you do get a shot off, it takes two to three to uncom them. And, and, and you know point, what? It's, like, it's no point, yeah. That's why they need to actually do their damn job and finish those uh, beanbag rounds. Because they've, they have, they've had the to-do name on them for years. <laughs> How much is there to do for damn beanbag rounds? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, to be fair, you aren't actually wrong. To be, you know, you're not wrong at all. Yeah, the 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 rubber rounds they definitely need a massive buff. I mean, yeah, the 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 nobody picks them up. I've never known yeah. anybody to to use them. I mean, the beanbags are even textured. They even have like the textured stuff in the files still. People on console use the beanbag rounds. They spawn them in. Mm -hmm. So yeah, why not? You know why? Why? Why don't they just give them a new tier? Because they they could just they could tier it off where it spawns at higher tiered police stations, you know, or something like that. Yeah, just something, well, you know. Give us give us more variety. Of, they've done a lot of the legwork already. I think it was update one eleven. They introduced a new feature to ammunition called shock regen. Yeah, and it's a modifier that pretty much makes it so the regen the shock regen of a person slows down based off this modifier. So certain ammos could uncon someone. That's why if you do uncon someone with a rubber slug, they're out for a long time. Like yeah. It's not like they just get back up after, I think, even 30 seconds. It's like a minute or two. 
I mean, the, I mean, like I said, they definitely need to, they definitely need to do a buff, but it's just, yeah, it's it's just a bit ridiculous. Um, but again, maybe maybe if they do focus on more non-lethal options for one nineteen, <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had the funnest idea in my head. Daisy gives us crossbows, and then they also give us those. Uh, those rubber balls with the rope in between, and we could shoot them at people's feet and talk. <laughs> like a slingshot. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, have you ever seen them? They're like two balls, are both long, and they when they hit the person's feet, they oh, and they the wrap around feet. them. Yeah, 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 and they and they fall over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be awesome. <laughs> That'd be so cool. Oh, I would love to see that. <laughs> That'd be perfect. That would be One fantastic. Thing I'd like to see, honestly, in regards to like non-lethal options and stuff like that, or. Have you ever seen the things that they have for? They usually do this for hunting, but that you can set up a tripwire, and it's a it's a it's a small mechanism with a firing pin on it that you can put on the tripwire for, and you can put like a a twelve gauge blank in it, so that when an animal or a person goes over it, it it fires the twelve gauge blank. It would be such a cool thing to have something like that in Daisy, especially just for base defense, <laughs> or even just to scare the hell out of somebody. But like, imagine just walking over a, a tripwire and just a twelve gauge goes off. Like, oh, that would be funny. I, I, in fact, that yeah. can actually that that would probably be. I was just about to say that could probably be reasonably easy to do. Just set up a tripwire, allow it so bullets can be attached to it, and then if it's triggered, then it'll play the sound. Um, it'll play like that sound set, and you could probably do it depending on ammunition type. Yeah. I think that'll be actually a really good idea. I want to. Now then, on that one. note, then. Can you find? Can you? Would you be able to um, hook up an external item to it? Because I think they're—I forget what they're called. But it's like a door knocker or something. But you would put it up to this. It's like a small thing, and they'd be easy to model. But then you would put the round inside that, and then you would store that, and then you could put that then in the tripwire. Would that be possible? Yeah. Yeah. Easily. Well, if you can get it to properly I'm work. Yeah, like, come on, get going right now. Debstream. All right. Oh, well, oh. I guess I'm gonna have to call the stream down and get on work on this. <laughs> uh, Darkwing, uh, about having a a soft skill where you can drink without getting sick, I would be very, very upset if they put that in. Yeah. Um, you can already cheese the immune system so bad you can eat, eat, eat raw meat and drink from uh, rivers. Drink like gasoline. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, and that that's still a thing. So like. Uh, soft skill wouldn't make the game. It actually wouldn't make logical sense. Uh, but yeah, I think like, it's like have... what Mark said. You can, you can drink gasoline until you make yourself throw up because you throw up the illness. So you you can just yep. keep drinking gasoline and you get you get your water back. Like... <laughs> I just want a soft skill. So if you get shot with bullets and you survive, your immunization to bullets gets stronger, and ultimately you get completely filled by a 60 round mag of 556 and you'll not lose any health. I think that'll be a fantastic soft skill. <laughs> lad, lad oh, it could be, be abused if you got a teammate. Yeah. <laughs> but you could, it could be abused though. You gotta think about it. If, if you just had a teammate and you sat with them and you just shot each other and banded each other up a bunch of times. Mm. Just sat there for hours. You, you, you can max that out instantly. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's, it is pretty but, mad actually. But uh they do need to flesh out their soft skills more, 100%. Need to fix them. I was actually going to say, I think they abandoned it. I don't think soft skills ever will make a comeback. I don't think they want to do it. I know no. that sounds like speculation, but I don't think they're coming back. No, probably not Not in the way that we, we would like them. But or not uh... the way the roadmaps that they'd be. <laughs> yeah. You always need to reference I think it, the Dean Hall roadmaps. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's cool, though, because I actually... I used to think that soft skills would be cool and would give players, like, more attachment to their player, but mm -hmm. I've since changed that over the course of the past, like, year or two. And I think... I think the fact that you as a player who plays on the game, uh, that it's up to your skills to be how good you are and how quick you are, Mm -hmm. I think that's cool because it means everyone's on the same ground unless in real life you're better than the other person. Yeah, and I think that's a, that's a pretty cool concept. That's fair. So yeah. basically just a skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? 
Yeah. I think what, 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 what did they say on stream? Get good. Yeah, get good. <laughs> mad, mad, cause bad, you know. <laughs> did we break Vlad? Get good. Yeah, Vlad. Exe is stop working. <laughs> But, uh, well, soft skills things make things easy, <laughs> so why use all the items if you don't need uh, items due to soft skills? I don't know what you mean by that. So basically, why bother? From from my understanding, why bother with the doing stuff for your soft skills like your immunization if you're not really going to utilize it that much? I guess you, I guess you could say, it, but it's. I mean, immunization. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, however, like, if I had the opportunity to be able just to eat raw meat, and be a naughty boy like that and not get sick, hell yeah. I mean, it'd be pointless considering like, the raw meat's like one of the worst things you can eat in terms of like calorie intake and energy and that. But I mean, you know, why not? <laughs> um, when you die, you lose your soft skills. I mean, yeah, I've, I mean, I'd hope so. <laughs> well, like I was saying though, even if. You die, you lose your soft skills upon death. The fact that you could mass eat um, raw meat to get your thing up, so you pretty much never have to worry about eating raw meat again. You probably could do that within a matter of hours of playing yeah. normal video games. Yeah, exactly. A vitamin bottle would become the new meta for grinding that out. <laughs> pretty much is. I mean, a vitamin sure. bottle is already the meta. Yeah. Do that. It lasts for five minutes, and you could do whatever you want when that vitamin's in your body. Do that. Michael just got back from war. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, hey, welcome back. <laughs> um, but yeah, see, that, see that's the thing. Uh, so it's like, it's, they're, they're just working anyway. But I'd, I'd like to see them return back to it, but we'll, we'll never know. But, but you know, one thing, one thing on the agenda that also refers to returning back to stuff is the transit bus. And um, mm. Fresh Spawns. Did a video with the transit bus, which was very interesting, and they had they had the entire thing filled up about twenty people on the transit bus, and the stuff that ensued was interesting okay. to say the least. Yes, <laughs> Come in, you mess up my whole like you know like timestamp structure here. I have to redo it. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so this this is the this is the video here. Let's try that. Okay. What, just... It seems so chaotic. Oh, I took damage there. Oh, me too, me too. What happened? Oh, mate! Oh, oh! What did I do? You know what? I really do hope they bring the transit bus back. Because it is so fun. It's so fun to use. I could see him. He's eyeballing you, George, big time. Even if they like make this, it like, so, like, you can upgrade it. Like, <laughs> you know, if they make it, like, if they turn that into, like, the first vehicle, you can upgrade so you can, like, defend yourself a bit more. That would be perfect. That would be awesome. It would be I really, really cool. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I like how, I like the way Expansion's done it, so you can actually, like, stand around inside it while it's driving. Um, I hope that that kind of feature actually does become vanilla. I really, really do hope it, it does that. But that clip was funny. <laughs> that was really that was funny. Kind of... I love that beard, lad. Why, thank you. I fucking hate it. <laughs> and I've been wanting to shave it for the past week, but I never get time. <laughs> What's that? Like they do in Rust. I mean, I, I can't really say much in Rust, but yeah. You know, if they do have it, then it'll be, should be something like that. Um, but yeah, they should bring back the transit bus. Will they bring it back with the new vehicle physics? Probably not, but they'll probably bring it. See, in now like this, it. folks, this is something you should be making a petition about. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, bring thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very oh, much man. for the 25 oh, wow. USD. Happy hour, first rounds on Thanks, me. Man. Mate. Much love to you. Thank you very much. Really do appreciate the love and support, as always. Um, but I, I think quite a few people in the general chat was actually talking about vehicles earlier on. I'm just going to quickly pull that up just to make sure I'm not talking utter. Yeah, Hunter, uh, Hunter, um, Hunt, Hunters CZ was saying, will be nice to add this villain variant at the VS3. With road trip will be possible, shoot from vehicle while moving. And that's, um, you know, the one with the back cover off. 
and also the mobile base version, which both versions are in the game. They're both in the files. Um, I, I wouldn't imagine there'd be much of a use for mobile base version. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. In my eyes. But to be fair... Most cars are mobile bases. Well, what to be fair? Yeah, you're not wrong, like. But, um... Having one of them too would be really awesome. Or again, having the bus being introduced, that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, <clears throat> what kind of vehicles would you guys like to see? It's an interesting question, you know, because mm. there's there's literally dozens of options. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many, yeah. One thing I'd like to see is like an actual true to true to representation like an actual Lada, you know like the mm. like the box ladders i'd love to see one of those because they they had them or well the, at least they had the crash models from a while back they they pulled those out with the van yeah but to see those yeah. come back that'd be pretty cool what about yourself Dom? or even there's the van itself that that one uh volkswagen yeah that'd be pretty cool yeah i would like to see i get i, I know we have pretty much only civilian vehicles right now, but I would like to see more industrial civilian vehicles. Mm -hmm. I would like to see pickup trucks, like their version of pickup trucks, not Americans. Yeah. Um, I would like to see the tractor. I would love to see um, utility things man. that people would fix up because the machinery is sound. Like, if I was in an apocalypse and someone told me I can go fix up that, uh, you know, Mercedes Benz, or I can go fix up that you know, truck that they use to haul hay around and everything else around, I'd probably go fix up the truck because it's reliable. Mercedes-Benz is cool, but mm -hmm. again, I'm not going to be able to find the parts for it easily. Those trucks nowadays, most old, old trucks like that in the the area that we are in, you could find the parts just down the road all the time. You know, it's so easy to scavenge. Mm -hmm. So I would love to see more stuff like that because and what's cool is I loved it when they introduced the V3S truck. Uh, because it gave purpose for doing other things like, um, oh, welcome, Tarkwing. Um, it had log, had plank storage, and it gave the truck a different functionality than just being a hoarder vehicle. It was a way to build bases. It's a, it was a way to actually transport large amounts of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Like people pull those up to forests. And deforest the entire area, loaded with all the logs and planks, and then drive and start building your base wherever they want. I would love to see some of those more like purpose stuff done with vehicles, and less uh, and less just generalized vehicles. Mm -hmm. I I like that. I, I, that really really does make sense. I like that a lot. So first off, Darkwing. Tate, thank you very much for becoming a member of the 87.78 thing, Survivor. I, my brain. Start again. Thank you very much for becoming a member of the 87.8 Survivor FM. Really, really do appreciate it. Much love to you. So close to getting the no red nine or more at that point. He's adamant on getting. Um, <laughs> but again, really appreciate it. If anybody else wishes to become a member uh, to get access to various amorts and, and to support the show, that is definitely an option for you. Um, I'd, I'd hope you consider it, but obviously it's not, not mandatory um, unless you wish to bully me with no red nines constantly, and you can do it in chat. That's perfectly fine. That's a, that's a good enough incentive. <laughs> it actually works. <laughs> Thank you very much, Michael. Really do appreciate it. Uh, really do appreciate it. Become a member of the 87.8 Survivor FM. Much love to you, my dude. Thank you so much. Um, now, the vehicles that I would kind of like to see come in Daisy is a return of the cargo truck without the, the, the thing on the back. Um, the bus, obviously, I would love to see the bus, but I would actually like to see a fully proper, dedicated military vehicle that is something where it's like, yes, sure, I've got a larder, or awesome, I've got the truck. But to have something that is like quite decently armored, that would have more use to um, like uh, for to use explosives to take down. I think that would be really something that would be awesome to see. You easy, possibly, yeah. But uh, quite an armored military vehicle, but only like one or two spawn at any given moment on the map. 
and it requires a lot to fix it up. And when you've got it, it's a beast. It is a brick shit house. Like it, it's a very tough beast. I think something like that would be awesome. But in the sense of like trying to generate like the community to come together, the party bus, we've got to get that back. We've got to absolutely get that back. It's a really, really fun vehicle. Um, That's always been the consensus, you know, just yeah. getting the uh, getting the party bus back. You got you got to get the party <laughs> bus. It's like it's it's like. I wouldn't say it's an insult, but it's a missed opportunity. I'm, I'm, I can only assume that one of the reasons the kill dozer. We need a kill dozer. Yes, please. Kill dozer. Oh my god. I'm gonna drive through channel with my kill dozer. <laughs> no, but I can only assume that one of the reasons why they never really focused on the boss is because of the way that the current physics are. You know, driving that thing, especially if a server gets a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's going to cause a lot of deaths. Um, <laughs> instead of just one or two, that's like a, at least. Well, a maximum of like twenty or something like that. That would be pretty. That would be pretty nuts. But we can only we can only see. You know, one nineteen is going to be the major update. The you know they've really been ramping it up um, with the media coverage for That's like the streams and what stuff. Yeah, to an <laughs> understatement to say the least. Um, oh, bruh, Michael. <laughs> Michael, thank you very wow. much for gifting. Oh my god, let's uh, okay. Michael, I want to say thank you very much for, for gifting a membership to to Boydie, to you, my size, Zenith777, and Hannah Epps, as well as wow. Stud Muffin. <laughs> thank you so much for all the love and support, Michael. You are a top lad. Much love very to you. Cool. Thank you so much. I don't know how many members we need for the emotes, but we're getting there. We're slowly getting there. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want Michael. Yeah, no, but much love to him, my dude. Thank you so much. Really do appreciate it. Hey, you caught me drinking. What can I say? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fair. <laughs> um, but yes. Um, but on top of that, again, we've, we've talked about it in the past, but we are going to be introducing a system. So if you want to support uh, the podcast as a whole or individual members, you do have you will have that option too. But we're still in the process of getting that set up. But on on the topic, yeah, either the party boss or something um, quite armored. Um, but something that was kind of like... armored party bus. The armored party <laughs> bus. The kill bus. <laughs> Instead of the kill doors of the kill bus. Yes. Kill bus. <laughs> I actually, actually quite like the sound of that. Not going <laughs> to The kill bus. <laughs> Just like um, slap a ramp on front of it. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Like like Grand yeah, Theft Auto, you, you know, when you've got like... Uh... <laughs> oh my God, that, I love that vehicle. But something that was tweeted, uh, that tweeted and teased was Asmondian. Um, he was teasing Trinaris like development. Now... I know a little bit about it. I know a little bit about what he's trying to go for with this. But these pictures are gorgeous. These pictures are absolutely yes, are. fantastic. Now, as Mondian, gotta give credit where credit is due. He's always good with his images. In fact, he was one of the first people when I got into getting into like making screenshots of Daisy, he was one of I'm a very early supporters, which is really awesome. But Chinaris Light, which is both coming to PC and console, is starting to look really, really good. And he was saying here, so Minder was asking, looking good, how many objects are you looking to uh, roughly add with this? And as Mondian was saying, an estimated 11 to 12k are already in place, all console compatible assets, even the Ivy, thanks, thanks Lemons. Hmm, I wonder who that is. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are now removing the expendable things to further optimize as much as possible but the performance is really good thanks to another feature of the project um, and there was quite a bit of Fred uh, Mike Duggerty was saying sounds sick but can console handle that many objects another main feature of the project aims to ensure just that we have tested on PC with a test server of over 45 players without dropping below 2k server FPS with an older and less optimized build than our current one but Daisy can be tricky, so we'll wait for 119. So that's good. that is a very, very wise choice to wait until after that. Um, 
uh, in the main feature that as Mundian was uh, was saying was saying we'll reserve that for now but it's not that magic it has to do with the characteristics of the project idea it does not imply reducing the range of vision objects to ridiculous limits or anything like that so which is quite interesting I'm really interested to see what method he has uh, or the team is bringing um, and it's not going to be um, it's not going to be exclusive either as far as I can see which is great um, <coughs> But I can't wait for this. I can't wait to explore it, especially if it is actually coming to PC. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. I really can't wait. But Lemons, do you have any... Uh, uh, well, both of you, because I know uh, Dump, you've spoken quite a bit to Asmondian uh, previously as well. My lad, can you, can you get him to slide in my DMs, please? <laughs> um, do, you have any inf do you, any of you guys have any information what Shinoris Light is, what its goals, and what it's trying to go for? So with Shinoris Light, it's more of like a compressed version of Shinoris. You know, it's, it's not a full map. Mm -hmm. They're not going for the full map. They're trying to do something smaller, but it's kind of, you, you got to weigh the, the quality versus quantity. Okay. So they're shrinking down the size of the general map to then have more of a high fidelity map. There's more, there's more objects. There's more detail. There's stuff that they would lose if they tried to spread it thinly across the entire map, you know? So, right. and especially performance wise as well. You have to think about that. So when they're able to compress it to such a small thing, I mean, they already they already fixed the issue that I'm having with Sigoria. You know, mm -hmm. I'm uh, on PC. My the performance just isn't there. You know, and that's what's really been turning me off about releasing it yet. But they've um, they've been doing some stuff, and especially because they're doing it on a smaller scale, mm -hmm. they've been able to uh, mitigate a lot of the issues they have with stuff like performance. So it's it's right. cool to see that kind of stuff too, but I'm okay. very impressed with what they've done so far. And I'm glad that I've been able to contribute to it as well. Mm -hmm. But I'm so, so pumped to see what uh, what happens when they release it. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. What about what, what about you, Dom? Do you have any information on the project as well? Uh, yeah, I have information about the project. Um... Not necessarily sworn to confidentiality, but I'm not going to say much about it. No, that's uh, fine. Mainly because I want to be polite to him. Uh, but I have been given access to it, and it is very, very fun. Uh, right. In, like Levins was saying, the amount of detail and effort that's going into this is immense. Um, and it's really, really well done. Um, it's kind of like, uh, dare I say it, Lemon Zagoria, where they put a lot of effort into the details, the nitty-gritty details. Mm -hmm. And I like that. Um, what was cool, I would say, about some of the things that I've experienced was uh, some of the areas, kind of like in Vanilla Daisy, but way more pronounced, tell a right. story. You can actually visually see what happens, and it's a very interesting thing. Okay. Now, the main question I want to ask is, so you two involved with the project, you know, you've played tested Lemons, you've helped out with a couple of things. Um, where the hell's my invite? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're just, just not cool here. enough, lad. You're, you're, you're worried about your yeah. red nine, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me be clear here. I'm not helping with the development of the project at all. <laughs> I know, I was just... As Monian just likes me enough to let me get a peek at it. That's it. <laughs> now, let me be clear. I am helping with it. But you're just not cool enough, lad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. We don't, I mean, all right. We're the development of the Red Nine, and we don't want to spoil it to you, you know, because if we, if we brought that in, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. It's not like I wanted to join anyway, you know. <laughs> you can just message him. Are you talking about That's the one fair. by um? Whatever. What was that one called? With I can't snow? remember the name. It got cancelled with, like, with the road. It, uh, what was that? Yes. No, that's not it. No, it's not that. Whatever happened to the map mod that wanted to incorporate the rest of Shinaris to the game? Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, I was thinking of the, I was thinking of the one by uh, Kafina. or the, that they were working on. That's EOS. The, that's the Environment Overhaul System. Um, yeah. EO, oh, yeah. EO, he has no idea when the hell that's coming out. I really hope it's soon. I really hope it's soon, but I think he's gone did they, did they MIA. Cancel? I'm not too sure if it was cancelled or not. It was delayed. I haven't actually checked in a while, I'm not going to lie. I might DM and see what's going on. Um, but I know there's Maplink. 
which is still in active use, I believe. Yep, it's still fully supported and everything else. Main game and keep it up. Yeah. So all, all I can think of is that nobody's actually taken the time to re recreate South Zagoria. I mean, obviously, I know you've got Zagoria lemons, but like the proper South Zagoria, based on the map. <laughs> yeah. But like, I, don't, I I mean, I know that like years ago, years ago, somebody made a video as a concept of what Zagoria could look like. Um, I do know that much, and if it would be possible. Uh, Stud Muffin, thank you very much for the 200 knock. I'm not too sure um, what that is, but thank you very much. I really do appreciate that. Um, but I don't know. I think that would that would be a kind of massive undertaking that a massive team of modders would have to come in to do together. Um, I mean, obviously, we'd have to be split into fragments. As somebody who's working on a map, you probably know more about that than me, lad. Yeah, that's it, yeah. But... Uh, so that's uh, Norwegian Krohn. Okay, thank thank you very much for the... I, I always like to make sure that when, when people donate, I know the currency. So thank you very much for the 200 Norwegian Krohn. Much love to you, my dude. Thank you. But... If so... <sighs> I'm not why I'm, I mean, maybe I am, maybe I'm not, let's see. But making a map is a very long and arduous process. It is very time consuming. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it, depending on what detail you want. If you want a simple map, yeah, that's fine. Just whip up something up. You'll be fine within like a, maybe a week. But if you want something that's really detailed, that's got something good for it. And the layout's going to be, mwah. And there's something interesting, and not just landlock like Livonia. Oh, yeah, you are getting fucking outseed. Shut up! Reports! Goodbye! Boosh! <laughs> Anyway, thanks for helping with that dump. Much love to you. Um, let's get rid of them. DOJ did it. Oh, DOJ. I oh, read that as dump. Oh, well. Thank you, DOJ. All, mod, all, all the mod guys, thank you guys very much. Yes. Good team. Really good team. But yes, going back to, to, going back to that. <laughs> You're so famous now that you get the spam bots. That's it. We've hit it, guys. We have hit that mark. We are popular now. <laughs> We're famous. We're getting spam bots. Eh, hey, lordy lord. But, no, yes, yeah, so making a map is a very, like I said, <laughs> hell yes. But it's a very arduous process. It's very, very difficult. But if you've got a good team together that can, like, really, um, <laughs> it's a temporary Daisy, it's eternal. Get out of my side. <laughs> that should be Daisy's slogan. <laughs> wow. I like that. Nice one. Um, oh, yeah. But making a map the size of, like, actual South Sigoria, with only the information we have based on, like, the Chinaris landscape, would be a fantastic idea. But a lot of creative input and creative ideas that can go into it. Um, yeah, Zarge lost his patience, but he's still developing his tech now. Um, yep. Which is... Honestly, I'm so happy about that. Because modders, and you know, we, we do get a lot of crap. Um, and a lot of toxicity. People don't understand the process. They think they can just press a button and it fixes everything. And if it was e that easy, everyone would be a modder. But they're not. So, um, <laughs> but it's, I mean, I'm again, I'm really happy it is tech. You know, it's re it had really, it has really took off. Um, and he's, from what I can see that, yeah, he's, he's cracking on with it again. Um, Essica, that, <laughs> Essica, <laughs> that's never coming back. <laughs> that's never coming back. Not at all. But, but we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see about if somebody actually does develop yeah. South Zagori as a full map. Um, I would love to do something like that myself, but I don't have the time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have the time. Speaking of maps, though. Hmm. 
Speaking of maps, though. <laughs> what about this map that we've heard about called Bitterroot? I, okay. I don't know anything about it. Legit, I've, I've, I've heard some, I've heard like some people talking about it a little bit, but I don't know much information about what it is. Um, I know Matt Z, you've got the video up here. Matt Z made a video, nine minutes, 35 seconds long. Um, uh, Better route, Montana, USA. Um, so the description says here, hey guys. This is a pretty cool first look at the map, new map based in Montana, USA. I'm very appreciative to have been able to get a look and share it with you guys. Bit of root. Here's the Discord link to keep updated, so I'll post it here. Just get my ugly face. No, I'm going to zoom in on it. <laughs> I'm going to zoom in on it and there's nothing you can do about it. What the fuck is that? Just let me copy the link address. Jesus. Okay, so yeah, it's been... Bear with. Bear with. Bear with. Simple copy and paste just doesn't seem to work. There we go, finally. What an opening already. <laughs> I quite actually like that opening match, so you're not going to lie. That's pretty good. Okay, so... Oh, jeez, I've just taken a call. No, that's perfectly fine, mate. So, I'm just gonna mute this while it's playing. Let's get ahead to the actual map parts. Okay. That looks a bit... oof. <laughs> Ahead again. Oh, hang on. Okay, they've got a little town here. I just don't want to get copyright. The same buildings. <laughs> Chinaris, yeah. Welcome to Montana. Yes. Oh, look at him! Look at him! Oh, look at him! Look at that boy. I can't zoom in. That's actually disgusting behavior. So, as, as you requested, skip the... Hello, Borat. So, the landscape looks really interesting. I'm not too sure exactly what's going on with the sat map there. It seems this uh, Lemons is getting a bit of feedback from your end, mate. It seems this um, is getting a bit of feedback from you. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is this good? Um, test, test, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yep, I can't hear myself now. So, cool. yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on with that sat map issue here. That looks really weird. Um, just to bear in mind, guys, when it comes to like map reviews, I am critical. Because I'm a snob. <laughs> so I will critique it as I see it here. Um, I know it's its first iteration, so obviously be a bit lenient on that. Um, yeah. So as an idea... It's really, it'd be really cool. Oh, that's a new custom building. Okay, that looks interesting. As a, as a unique idea, because there's not many maps based in the US apart from Deer Isle, obviously. Um, <laughs> for those who want useless information, the state bird of Montana is the Western Meadowlark. Some information for my good friend Michael. Thank you very much. <laughs> but, I mean, I can see there's some custom buildings. That one looks familiar from Banov. But it's probably not, obviously, from Banov. Otherwise, that would be very naughty. 
but yeah it would be it would be nicer see okay we'll pause here that apartment building looks really nice in fact, there's quite a few buildings here that are new. You can, you can see one on the right hand here, right hand side here. That looks really, you know, really interesting. Um, the big apartment complex looks really nice. You got some buildings here on the left hand side which are new. Well, actually, there's, you know, there's a few scattered around, which is really good. You know, so you can. You see, you can... what I don't understand though is they do such good things like this. Like, I don't want to be like, I don't that. Like, I, I enjoy like the work they've done, mm -hmm. but. They can, they've shown that they can do such amazing things like what they've done in that town. But then they can also do stuff like what we've seen earlier. Mm -hmm. You know, so I mean... I don't know if it's like a... Esther type thing where they're kind of working out and slowly trying to update saying so things. And it's that's just like a rough draft. Can, but, yeah, that's all I can yeah. think of. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. Oh, no. Um, Placeholders are amazing, you know? Yeah. They can really help. In the absolutely. Long run. Um... So the general layout looks pretty interesting. Obviously, I've never been a bit rude, so I've got no idea. <laughs> but I can assume that the person who's creating it um, is doing, trying to do a one-to-one -one representation. See, so, like, there's some interesting, really cool buildings here. Um, it looks, it does actually look fairly solid. Um, I'm really happy. Yeah, sure. The, I, I love the garbage trucks here. They're really, really cool. Yes, sure that there's, they're using the Chinaras buildings, but again, placeholders. There's nothing wrong with that. Looking at this, you can actually see that there was some effort and thought put into it. Like I like this, along the um, along the uh, medical tents. Like you can actually see some other vehicles and that here put in fire trucks and oh, these are really nice actually. Now I will again. I will critique uh, as per usual. The buildings definitely look too clean, and I can only assume, considering it doesn't look like there's any interior to them, that you can't enter them. That's, that's okay. That's no problem at all. Especially if it's a first iteration. Um, but I would definitely recommend, if possible, to dirty that up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's yeah. the one thing. Some of the textures are really, like, dirty. Like, some of those, like, even the fire truck model. It was like rusted out, it looked like it was burned. There's things that look really old, and then there's things that look really new. You know, yeah. so kind of. There, there is a contrast sloppy. there, but again, I'm not going to sit here and be like extremely ruthless where it's like, oh, this looks terrible and whatever else. Hundred percent. You know, and I just, I just want to see more. I like. More US I like. Maps, you know? I like this area a lot. I like this area a hell of a lot. I can say for sure they do really good layouts. Yes. Of areas. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, my only concern is when it comes to, like, maps, like... Well, that building's from Armour 2, I think. Yep. That's awesome to see. <laughs> I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Nice one. That is a really nice touch. I really like that. And it, I hope it does fit in pretty well. I'm pretty sure it does. But that's nice to see. That is really, really nice to Wasn't see. Wasn't that nice building one. on the um, what was that one map called for Daisy? What was the desert map? I can't remember. Now this. Uh, oh, Pakistan. Yeah, yeah. It was. Yeah. It was. Um. It, it's. Yeah, I think it was in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. So I can I can yeah. see from the the I think the call what do they call them over there? Dump lemons. Is it bleachers or something like that? Like the the seats. Yep. Yeah. Bleachers, yeah. Right. Yeah. I actually know an American term. Well, um, <laughs> so the playing um, rugby, the rugby field, not American football, it's fucking rugby. Uh, <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that th this is a really interesting touch. I really like this. Uh, I really like the general layout. I've got the outlook up here. Again, textures look clean, but I can already tell just by looking at this that this is not final. This is definitely a placeholder. You can kind of see that, um, you know, with it being t way too clean. <laughs> I was going to get myself cancelled. <laughs> okay. Uh <laughs> my lag getting cancelled. He, he left a window covering up my poor lemon. <laughs> Monster. 
couldn't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Medible. I mean, so when you say clean lad, what do you mean? So, the best way I can describe it, and this 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 definitely needs to be re -up, like updated. That's very blurry. But what I mean by clean, to use, um, there's to use the soccer texture for that. Mm. To me, um, when I say clean, the texture doesn't have enough detail. It looks unnatural comparing everything else to it. So say, for example, if you import a building, um, flat. But I guess flat is a better term, yes. So, you know, you got some... Oh, yeah. um, it has no normal mapping, no SCPI, yeah, no it's, AS, and it doesn't have any of the finer touches to make it look like it is Pretty much, game. pretty much, yeah, that's what I mean. Okay. Now... And again, inherently, there's nothing wrong with that because, judging by this, um, it looks like there's some actual effort being put into it, which is great. I'm really, really happy to see that. And you can see that there was some attempts, some little spots it's here and there. I, too, I, I, I like the mountains here. Put the work in. Mm -hmm. You know, really, that's what matters. Exactly. I really like the mountain sides here. I really, really do. It's it's really nice to have some you know mountain areas and in maps. It really like nicely cuts places into regions um little spots here and there so you know there is something to do something to loot again you got the bleachers there you got the little town here and whatnot you actually do get a feeling um that it is based in america um obviously the use of certain uh, buildings but again that can easily be replaced in the future with something that better represents uh the us which is perfectly fine um a little junkyard here from what i can see but this looks like something that has been left in that can be easily like copied and pasted elsewhere. I wonder what guns would be spawned. Probably, I would imagine, vanilla weapons. Um, yeah, so so you can see so there's a bit of a contrast here. I guess you could see in like the from what we've seen before in the bleachers that the the, the, foot, the American football area, uh, they looked very flat. Whereas this building here. It's got a lot of detail to it. It's got an interior and whatnot. So there is a contrast there. There's some buildings here that's got quite a fair bit of uh, detail. Normal map and whatnot. But again, there's nothing inherently wrong with having nothing there. Um, this. I like stuff like this. Like an actual junkyard. Having something like that is brilliant. I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. Always have been. So really, really nice job there. Absolutely like that. I am very, I am interested in exploring this map quite a lot more to seeing how it flows and obviously give more critique in that. Um, it's, it's certain portions. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong, but it almost looks like an early, early Essaker, like very early, like when they mm. were like, you know, in certain locations, just like it. the layouts and stuff. Because mm -hmm. what they did is they do their layouts and then they flesh it out, right? But I really do hope yeah. they push it out because this has a lot of potential and I only hope mm -hmm. that they take that wrong with I, it, you know, because yeah. they can do so I, much. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Dump what were you going to say? Oh, I wasn't sure if you noticed, though, lad, that scrapyard that you were uh, so infatuated with mm. is actually old, an old derby racetrack. Right. Even better. See, that? in my hometown, we had one like that. It was actually next to the fair. Yeah, that's, we had uh we had we had little rat car races every uh friday right well there you go see i i didn't know that at all that was that was really cool that was really really cool i i'm interested in this map i am very interested in this map i can't wait to see when it's if it's out already um i'd love to take a proper look at it um <clears throat> i'll probably more, well I'll, i will be joining the discord to see what it's like, um, to give some feedback and whatnot. I'd love to touch base with the guy. And, um, it's definitely got potential. It's definitely, definitely got potential. I'm looking forward to the development for, um, for it. And I'm hoping for the best for Bitterroot. I really, really am. It's going to be, it's going to be really cool once it's fleshed out. Another, another American map. And hopefully, like they'll slowly transition from the like the Russian buildings to more American ones to get the feeling right. You know, maybe they'll uh, fill out some of the areas 
Uh, maybe they could mess around with the render distance, like the render ideal distance for it. So maybe they could have it like two or three K kilometer and have something, mm. you know, special there to, to flesh it out. So fingers crossed, wishing the absolute best for them. But again, I'm a snob, so... <laughs> if it's not perfect, it's terrible. <laughs> if it's not Namalska, don't give a shit. <laughs> but yes, but yes, no. Really excited to see that. Really excited for it. Wishing the absolute best for for it. Yeah. Getting the rest of the agenda up, because there's still quite a bit to go through. 10k render distance. Yes. Um, so this is something that you brought up again there, Lemons. NCRP mm -hmm. celebrates third birthday, one of console's day day one DayZ servers. Tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, so NCRP, we've talked about, we've talked <laughs> about it before. It's a very old server. I mean, old in the sense that Daisy on Xbox got released in 2019 or like 2018. So yeah, <laughs> it hasn't been too it hasn't been too long. If I'm being honest with you, but in the grand scheme of things, they're one of the first servers that actually came up, and they're a very very prominent roleplay server. They 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 like they like to um every few seasons they'll switch between um what is it they'll switch between Chinoris and Livonia, and mm -hmm. they have all these custom buildings and stuff. And they they're they're like a really passionate team. It's almost like um. If you've ever heard of Role Players Oasis, you can, you can the get the same sort of vibe yeah. from that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think I think Peasant was talking about that last week. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, really good team behind the people, or a really good team behind the um, NCRP servers, and I'm really happy with what they do. And that's why I just want to throw that in there because it's been three years already, and they're still going strong. I think they have a 50 slot. And it's always, always high pop. Mm -hmm. Always, always high pop, and they, <clears> it's a, it's even like a, it's a whitelist server too. Mm -hmm. So, they they definitely have the people following it though, and I yeah I hope they keep going. <clears throat> I know every um every time they do wipe, they um do Spaggy's Run Diary Try game mode or well event. Yeah, and it's really 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 fun. But have you heard of that before or the Run Diary Try? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of that event before. I've wanted to partake, oh, in it, but I never. Yeah. I I can never get in. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's so fun and every time they do wipe they always always run that and it's mm -hmm. the I think they're actually on Spaggy's website, like the event website. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. But so three just years for already, man. It's it's crazy. It's it is absolutely crazy. It's it's absolutely mad. It's awesome though, it's really cool though. Now just for our Spotify mm -hmm. um listeners, so I'll just read out the tweet. Um uh, NCRP are celebrating our third birthday as one of the handful of day one Xbox private servers. We thank all of our players, past, present and future, for being part of our story. There is always time for new chapters and we have more stories to tell. And that's followed by their Discord. So if anybody in chat is interested in consoles, they're not into uh, or that haven't been introduced to NCRP, get yourself in, get yourself all, you know, suited up and whatnot. Get some, get some knowledge in your noggin. Get yourself involved. I think it's really cool that you, that you get yourself in there if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, Zed Bad Mice is asked, talking of render distance, does anyone know how render LOD distances? Um, if you mean about how LODs are calculated, it's a bit of an interesting thing. And it's based on screen space, I believe, from what we've tested internally on, on our map. Um, but we're not entirely too sure. It wouldn't make sense because we, <laughs> as one of our tests, we made one of our trees extreme, no, oh, render distance as in meters. Oh, right. Okay. Right. Um, again, it does depend on the size of the object. Um, you can have two objects that are equal in vertice count or triangle count. Um, but if one is really small and one's quite large, the small object will go to the smaller lot quicker than the larger one will. Uh, even if they're both exactly the same in terms of like triangle count, vertice count. And again, that goes back to screen space. Um, uh, but in terms of like, like in terms of kilometers of like, you know, how far render distances can go. Uh, Sawyer made a really good video showing 
the effectiveness of it is crazy. 10k. Um, Dump said last week that you can increase the network bubble, so sorry if you're still listening. You should try that out and see how, uh, how quick your server goes on fire. <laughs> you should try that. Um, but yeah, definitely. On. Oh, darn, you got me there. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> but, um, but yes, awesome on NCRP, wishing them the absolute best, hoping they've got you know, many more years ahead of them. Um, but yes, absolutely fantastic. So, we would typically end the episode here, but there's quite a, f a few other subjects um, that, are, that are here that we'll want to talk about. Um, one of which, something Lemons that you brought up again, is console trader stores. Thoughts from PC players. Now... Yeah. So I thought it was going to be pretty interesting because we on the, on the show before, we've always seen um, how PC traders work and all that good stuff, but we've never actually, we, we've, we've touched on it before, but we've never actually in-depth seen and shown what it's like to have a trader on console. And I think for mm -hmm. those in chat and for you guys as PC players yourself, it'd be very interesting to see what you guys think about what a, a trader is for us at least. Mm -hmm. Now I'm playing the video from Tavish. Um, McTavish 096 and um, made the video here and he's shown the shop and it's full of stuff and I'm gonna make the video bigger and turn it up a bit there is children in the background <laughs> so obviously you know with PC modding PC right, traders so. that you, there's always an internal currency that can be used for it you know no money actual physical money has to exchange hands, which I know has been a bit of a problem on the console side. So how how exactly is this done? Do you know? So there's a few ways uh, we mitigate with that. We have we have actual server based bots, mm -hmm. like in the in the community servers that can like the kill feed bots, and they have um, a built in economy, or most nice. of them do at least now, and we usually use that as a um, form of currency and we use that for like the hits and then all that kind of stuff and i know i i think greedy was kind of talking about that before as well but those are kind of our go-to but other servers like the more kind of role play mon pa type servers mm -hmm. i know a lot of them like to use actual items as currency some will use uh the cigarettes as currency others use like the vodka and stuff like that and they'll just or even ammo yeah, Daisy Hub just said uh, ours uses 20, 22 long rifle rounds. Right. So, okay. different types of roleplay servers will use actual items as currency to kind of take away from the bots because some people aren't big fans of them, but the community is really split in that sense. Some love using kill feed bots and some just want like a more kind of organic yes. experience Which is where fine. the items are in game, they're grinding for them, they're finding them, you know, instead of just getting the money through commands and stuff, you know. So, mm -hmm. and like you were saying, yeah, it is fair. And. So I think stuff like that is the big ones. Of course, as well, we do have traders and black markets where you can actually bring in items and then sell those off. Right. For other stuff or actually do real trades. I know I tried that when I was running my, like with the early Zagoria server. And they're just, it's such a headache, man. It's really, it's really such a headache because, I mean, on PC, you guys just have the trader bots, you know, but to yes. have someone there, you have to, you, you have to treat it like a business pretty much. You have to be there at certain hours, you know, you have to wake up and know like, oh yeah, 9am chairs will be open. You, mm -hmm. have to, you have to work your schedule around that. And if you aren't running your trader and you're like late or you're just not doing it, it's going to kill your population on your server on console at least. So yeah, I I've, just... I've dealt with that before, you know, I was just about to say, <laughs> I can just imagine that taking the time off work. You know, you just, you just like, yeah, yeah, sorry, I, I can't come in. There's something come up. I've got to get my shop open. It's like, oh, right, okay, no problem at all. You know, wishing you the best. And then you're like, right, ah, so I'm a bit of the Xbox. <laughs> and it's like, that, that, that is crazy that you actually That's somebody... how it is for some people. Yeah. A lot of the people, like, because there's a lot of people on, um, on Xbox I know of that have retired and they don't work anymore. And when they try to find an experience for themselves, sometimes what they'll do is they'll just run a trader. Or they'll run a black market, you know, they, um, you know, they have kids to look after, you know, they might not be working anymore and they'll mm -hmm. do stuff like that because they still want to do something because it's, it, it's, it's fun to do it and they'll Absolutely. do stuff like that. And it's, it's really cool to see. And there's, it's really cool to see that there's passionate people like that, that spend their time and put their time into it. But 
it really is a split thing. A lot of uh, there's people mm -hmm. that love traders. There's people that hate traders. It's the same thing on PC. It's, yeah. it's it's really it's the same thing, you know. And some people Absolutely. just want more a more organic survival experience where they have to grind for the loot. Other people like being able to get that money, get that currency so they can buy items and you know kind of rule the that. currency. But mm -hmm. that's the thing though. Once you get a high currency, you get a high currency, and that's pretty much you yeah, own the server it. at that point, you know. And yes. that's that's the issue. Mm -hmm. What about do you yourself? Have any, do you have any thoughts on that, Dump Yeah. I find it to be pretty intelligent slash like I, I like most times with the console. I'm pretty impressed by your guys' mm -hmm. ingeniousness with this stuff. Um, yeah, on roleplay servers, I can totally see the things. So, uh, my question is: is uh, what's stopping people from just grabbing this stuff? Uh, since you can't make mods, uh, like scripted mods, I would say. Um, how are you telling people they can't take this stuff? With you out there i know on rp servers they could just ban people but like let's say you don't you have a more loose rp server let's what's yeah that's the way to stop this mm -hmm, that is concerning. so yeah. usually what servers like to do is they're very technical at this kind of stuff they'll, they'll usually have airlocks or stuff locked enough the uh trading place when it's not active i know in this video you can't see one but for most for the most part a lot of um, traders will actually have the place locked up during the off hour so players just can't enter into it Mm -hmm. And even other servers, if they're really anal about not wanting their server, their base to get like raided, like the trader base, right? They'll just disable base damage during the week, and then have during the raid weekends they'll have trader open. But like, they do some pretty crazy stuff. Some kill feed bots they have um, proximity sensors, where you can place a flag down or a flag base, and what the bot does is it actually calculates the radius of the flagpole, and can tell you when players enter that radius. So the okay. the staff team will get pinged and notified whenever someone enters into the uh, base radius. And a lot of servers also sell that off to people as well. And that's a whole different conversation of whether or not that's ethical or a good idea. Yeah. But at least at least used in a sense for staffing, I think it's a good idea. You know, when it gets given to players for their own bases, I don't know. I don't know about that one, Chief, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no. Wow. Use, useful for wow. actual training zones, but not for bases yeah 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 it's uh it's really cool yeah yeah that's that's uh really well thought out uh, again once again your guys's uh ingeniousness impresses me yeah and it's it's ultimately just you know you have to really think outside the box on console because we don't have we can't just load up the trader bot you know or we can't just we, can't, we can't just slap that in and get it going we have to compromise and everything on xbox or everything on console in general is, is a compromise mm -hmm. and we do it anyways because we love it we love the community we love what they do and we still come back every day and play because that's it we're we're a community and we we stand by it you know yeah absolutely and, that, and that's it and it's you know as dom said you know the ingenuity from it is it's it's genius it's it's a really good method to to get it working and it's obviously obviously spawns some different methods on how those services can yep. be used whether ethically or not um now what's interesting too is just to just to add a bit the method that they're using for a trader shop is actually relatively outdated mm -hmm. how so what people do now is right. it you gotta hear this out they've set okay. up they've set up these trader bots where it's all handled through a actual community bot like one of the kill feed bots and what you can do is you can earn your currency go into the kill feed bot and you can use commands to buy items and what you can do is set up a campfire and after the server reset the items will spawn at that campfire that you bought from the trader huh. okay yeah That's... it's very very crazy <laughs> That's actually fairly interesting. So I'd imagine, obviously, the restarts for those kind of servers would be fairly often so people can utilize the trader quite effectively. Yeah, um, because if yeah. you have, like, a restart every 24 hours or 12 hours, you know, you'd be waiting <laughs> yes. a long time. They do it pretty yes. frequently, like, four hours or less, four hours mm -hmm. or less for most of those. But it's very, very cool. A lot of them are still kind of testing it out and feeling the waters of them. Mm -hmm. But... That's it pretty cool, though. That's pretty cool, though. I'm, <laughs> I'm surprised stuff like that hasn't happened for PC, but then again, I suppose they've just never really need needed a function for that. Yeah. Um, yeah, you got you got to listen to how it works, though. This is this is the crazy part. 
Mm -hmm. So the bot has access to your Nitrato developer token, which means that the bot itself can go... Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but the bot itself can actually access your servers, and it can also access your files. So what happens is when a player puts in a request for an item, it will add a line of code to an events file. It will create an event, and that event is the item that spawns in. Now, nice. It's a pre I, I've, I've spoken with some of the developers, and I've said that there's more convenient ways of doing it through like an, uh, making an object spawner file, because you can actually use the object spawner JSONs as separate ones, and you can put them in different files and directories. Mm -hmm. So I've said for like the long-term use, that would be a much more smart idea. But right. using the events file, too, they're able to just put in a command, create a line, and it just works. And it's really, really cool. <laughs> right. I mean, I wish I had an example to show you, but no, no, it's, it's perfectly it's really fine, right? Awesome. It's perfectly all yeah. right. No, it, it is what it is. It's again, it's a really cool system, and it and it utilizes what is available. Um, it's a really good idea to use it based as an event system, because obviously it'll be a one-time thing. So, top notch on that. Top notch on that idea. What what what, what do you think yeah. about that implementation, Dunk? Because I know, um, obviously in the past, we've both had an idea for like you know a limited trader based on like you know certain things and whatnot so with that implementation what do you think like you know in terms of like it's technical uh te 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 technical side jesus christ <laughs> um technically i think it's really cool it's a it's a clever way to handle situations and stuff um But yeah, it, as far as like the mechanics and how it works, it sounds really cool. Uh, but yeah, mm -hmm. I like it. That is pretty cool. It is really, really nice. Oh, f piss off. <sighs> Lordy, Lord. Oh. You are <laughs> oh wow this gets yeah we we, we really are famous <laughs> I delete I delete the I delete it don't worry <laughs> yes so it says that I deleted on my end but that's that's awesome yeah lordy lord but yeah see that's huh. that's that's the thing you know hopefully that kind of um tech gets advanced more and be utilized in many many different ways um, yeah. It can't be the I'm best adult like... dating site. I'm not on it. <laughs> Shut up, Mike. Uh, <laughs> oh. Eh, lordy lord. But, um, but one more thing where we'll go through before we finish up. This probably is one of the longest. Uh, getting to, getting quite, uh, long. But just a simple question. Just a simple question. Is the Derringer OP? Now, Lemons, you presented me with this question in the um, in the agenda, and I've purposely not seen this clip. <laughs> so this is going to be my honest reaction. <laughs> judging by your laughter, oh, you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this. <laughs> judging by your laughter, this is gonna be pretty interesting. So. Mel Melbourne said, you have to hear me out. You got to watch the video first and then you got to reevaluate because I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> okay. All right. Over there? Hi. Hello. Oh, yeah. I, I, played, Hi. I played with him. Oh, yeah. Hi, Jingo. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we have the same jacket, oh, man. To kill me now. I yeah, would have yeah, killed you. You were, you, were, you were there. I would have killed you. I would have whooped your ass, but I decided not to. Why though? One guy watching us from the rooftop. Fucking love me, man. What? One that guy, guy watching, watching us? Yeah. yeah. Holy Who's shit! Watching <laughs> Who's watching us? I don't see anybody watching us. I don't, I don't see anybody. <laughs> you have the daring, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. Oh my god, man! That was fucking amazing. Thank you, Jingo. Oh, he's trying to get a spawn right now. Oh, uh, Bluey is right. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Is this Jingo? <laughs> I have to watch that bit again. That was. Yeah. Not too. Why though? That guy watching us from the rooftop. Fucking love me, man. What? That guy watching us? Yeah. Not even. 
not even a second of like <laughs> I would have took like a fair few sentences but I was right, I got to align it, I gotta get it there. He just went nah fuck. After two he's like he's like who's watching us? I don't see anyone. Who's watching us? Watching us? Yeah. Anyone? Who's watching us? I mean as Melbourne says, yeah, it's a headshot for 357. It. It's 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 going to kill. But that is <laughs> almost as good as Red Nine, exactly. No, no, yep. nothing. Nothing's gonna be that. <laughs> oh man, but that was awesome. That was <laughs> that was really good. But that is holy shit. That was funny. <laughs> that was funny. Eh, lordy lord, the lordy lord. But with that, that is going to be the end of Dick's uh, this week's show. I really, really do appreciate uh, your time, Dump Lemons. Thank you very much for coming on the show. I really, really do appreciate that. Can much I pay love for to you guys. Now. Uh, no, <laughs> I'll, I'll pay. I'll I'll pay you in loves and kisses. Is that all right? Maybe, maybe. Dump. They got. They got to be a lot though. They got to be a lot though. <laughs> Dump's like, I don't want loves and kisses. Please don't touch me. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it, it, it's funny you say that. I actually don't like being touched. Oh, bless you, bless you. Just, just, um, wait, just wait until you meet me. I'm gonna give you. He I'm likes. You a nice he hug. likes being touched <laughs> with words. You know, words and affection. I, I uh, <laughs> you know, you know what I really like from from payment from both of you. I need short ideas. <gasps> Okay, uh, well, I can tell you that the short idea for my reaction to that clip is definitely one of them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the short, yeah, the short exception. <laughs> but we can definitely yeah. talk about that um, very shortly, but that's no problem at all. If you, shortly, Mike... yeah. You're funny. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> if you guys are going to start hugging and kissing, this will be the hottest adult date in sight. <laughs> all right. That's 87, it. 8. Survivor <laughs> dating. <laughs> Thank you very much, Matt Z, for the 99 pence. Really do appreciate it. All the love and support. Thank you so much. But <laughs> before we do finish the show, the obvious question, Spotlight. Now, Dump, I know you last one. You, last week you didn't have one. Uh-huh. Do you have one this week? I do. I <gasps> thought about this. And my Spotlight, and don't make fun of me for this. No? Is going to be on players who enjoy mods, but more specifically, players who enjoy giving constructive feedback on mods. Okay. So, as many of you know, Minder, the famous streamer for mm -hmm. DayZ, gave me an idea for a sewn leather holster that held off yes. the sawed off weapons. I've seen this. This is the kind of stuff we modders love to have given to us. Mm -hmm. It was respectful. It was a, here's an idea. If you like it, go with it. And as you folks have probably seen, if you follow me, I have made sure to t tell everyone it was Minder's idea from the get-go. Mm -hmm. Modders overall appreciate this kind of effort and stuff. And I would just like to say, I appreciate people like Minder. I appreciate people like Melbourne in chat and other people who enjoy my work and efforts and present themselves in a more professional and courteous manner than mm -hmm. people who yell at me and scream at me. Mm -hmm. So those people I like to highlight. You know what, mate? Couldn't have said it better myself. Absolutely fantastic. Well fucking said. Well said. Very nice. Yeah, because that's 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 the thing. Like, you know, people like to exactly talk when you fix mod. <laughs> You know, modders will typically get yes, sure. They'll 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 <laughs> they'll get like people who they'll be like you know fix your mod or they'll give like you know you should do this, but you'd never get somebody who actually sits down and be like, hey, I really like your mod, I like what you got going, but here's an idea I have, and you discuss it, you hash it out, you give feedback and cr constructive criticism, and it works out well. You know, and both parties benefit from it. And that's the best way to go about it. Shouting and screaming at people is going to make modders take this stuff down from workshop, have server exclusivity, or just leave the community entirely. So when we hear, you know, modders leave, it's very sad. It's very, very sad because we don't want them to leave, you know. They've got some very valuable information and, you know, 
really awesome people. So props to you there, Dump. Good, good shout. -out. I like that. Really good shout. -out. What about yourself, there, Lemons? So Dumpcroft kind of screwed me over because I was gonna, <laughs> I was, I was gonna shout out Dumpcroft for his mod, but. <laughs> Uh, community. No, we're not going. <laughs> you know what? Eventually, you know what? I'm gonna get that on a shirt. You know, I, I, my spotlight is the community. The community. <laughs> the community. That's yeah. It's gonna happen. It's it's gonna happen eventually. But you know what? If I have to frantically, frantically find somebody else to shout out, <laughs> uh, um, you lad, you know? no. No. I think I think you are much deserving of a shout out because we're already at what is this episode one fifteen and you've been doing a kick ass job, you know, as a as a host, as a as a red nine simp. <laughs> and just a buddy, you know. <laughs> I got I got like a you on it. <laughs> okay, I've been called many things when it comes to the red nine, but not a red nine simp. <laughs> <laughs> Eh, Lord. <laughs> eh, God. Yeah, you no. know, you, you're you're a good host, you're a good buddy, and I wouldn't have picked anybody else. So, good good on oh. you, mate. Oh, Just right you. from your right from your mouth, you know. Good on you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> good on you, mate. Good on you, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Like proper yeah. candy. Well, good on you, mate. No, I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, you know. I really. I... <laughs> <laughs> you're a fine lot you are yeah yeah <laughs> don't <laughs> just just don't oh. see you, so there is a couple of things so recently we've had the happy bombs true colors event uh which uh quite a lot of people took uh took uh part in um as well as uh you know our very own uh, DOJ, you know, he took part in. I managed to catch a little bit of it, not too much, but apparently it was a really, really fun. <laughs> it was really, really fun. A really good event. Um, you know, I just want to shout out I'm all sorry, the people. I've almost made me just spit out my fucking drink. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can see that. I can see that. Um, <laughs> so the event was absolutely fantastic, from what I've heard. So I really can't wait for more to come. The second thing is I want to give a shout out to all the spam bots that's come in to actually make us yep. famous. <laughs> the 87.8 Survivor adult dating website. Yeah, totally, yeah. But importantly, I actually want to shout out... This is going to sound a little bit big-headed, but I want to actually shout out, um, unironically, this community. So... Oh, here, uh, here we go. As you'll see, as you've seen, <laughs> earlier this week, Boydie put out a tweet on the 87.8 Survivor FM account saying that we've recently surpassed 3,500 subscribers. And got a lot of traction, even Daisy themselves liked the tweet. And when I woke up to that, it was surreal. Like, genuinely, because, you know, we, we took over the show since around about March, April time. And we're coming up to, you know, we're, we're in August now, mid-August. You know, we've been fed through a fair few updates. I'm still pulling the old Boydie Boomer moments. So, you know, there's that part of the, you know, that heart and soul of the, 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 the channel's still there. <laughs> but I was very surprised. Well, I wouldn't say I was very surprised, but it was kind of a shock to see us get to that amount of subs. And, you know, people's come in, you know, they've, they've donated and, and the members and whatnot and allowing us to get more ideas, get the emotes in and whatnot. But it, it it's a really good driving force. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you wake up and you're like, oh, you, you struggle with the idea, you struggle with, you know, your hobby or, or anything like that. But waking up to something like that and seeing that, that, just that constant positivity is is lovely. But it's not only because of you guys, it's the team. It's, it's you two as well. And I couldn't have asked for better co-hosts. And, you know, you're both really good friends of mine. Much love to you. And this is turning into oh, the adult dating you. site again, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, but... Thank you. 
for giving me this opportunity. I really do appreciate it. Much love to you all. And here's to the next 100 episodes. Wouldn't gonna... have happened without you, man. Nah, man. But, uh... <laughs> but, yeah. I could drink to that. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. But with that... Sad, sap of shape. <laughs> with that, we are ready to have our send off so we'll be back this time well same time next week um we're going to be trying to get a, another guest on uh lemons and i uh, lemons dump and i we've, we've kind of been in talks about that um so we'll keep you guys um up to date will be an announcement put on the discord and the twitter so just if you're not already signed up there get yourself in the discord get yourself following the twitch account twitch account we don't use that anymore the twitter account Although we might, we should, we should do. But again, much love to you all. Thank you so much for coming along. I really do appreciate it. That was episode 115. Signing off. Take care, everyone. Much love to you. Say bye. Take it easy, guys. Oh, mute. Deafen. Mute. Naughty. <laughs> so, right. That was that. That was that. That was indeed that. That was an absolutely fantastic episode. Thank you so much, everybody. I really do appreciate all the love and support. I've completely lost track of <laughs> all the all the members. Um, it was really, really cool. It was so nice to, to see the, the outwards of support coming in. I want to thank um, everybody who who's listened. I also want to thank everybody who's watched and took part in the chat. Even if you were literally just listening, you were just liking really do appreciate the support i want to thank everybody for the members and i want to thank michael especially for the five gifted members much love to you i really really do appreciate it um the show's been doing great you know we've been doing we've been getting some really good numbers we've been having some really good support and i genuinely can't wait to see where the future of the channel goes and the future of the community um, I've touched on it quite a few times that we're going to be introducing a system so if you want to support individual members of the team then you will have that opportunity um, again this isn't something that is mandatory you can still just um, donate or support the, the, the channel directly but it's just an idea that we've had um, so yeah so I just wanted to let people know about that that is still in the works so we'll see how that pans out and if you guys don't like it obviously um, we'll talk about that internally but <clears throat> again want to thank everybody for coming along really really do appreciate the love and support I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic weekend again same time next week hopefully with a guest we'll see uh, but you all take care now you have a good night good weekend and much love bye bye <laughs>